Welcome to Curious Public. Are we on? We're live. Uh, I hope we're live. I don't know. I hit the button. On a says, Monday, it's everything's pretty off for me. Yeah. I have no <laughs> idea what's how this is gonna go. Monday, Monday live with Monday. Curiosity Public, guys. Welcome to all of you. Uh, hopefully somebody in the chat can let us know. Yeah, how do we sound? Yeah. Hopefully we're not blowing up people's eardrums. Yeah, let us know how the audio levels are. Hopefully everything looks okay on the screen, despite the fact that it's us. Um, all right, looks like things are good here. Things are good here. How's everybody's Monday? Because this is a first. This is a first. I usually don't okay, ever good. see you on a Monday. Sounds good. All right. Awesome, guys. Well, welcome, oh, cool. everybody. Thanks, guys. Yeah, a bunch of people already. Yeah. Fantastic, guys. Cool. All right. So, uh, like I said, welcome. We got kind of a – this was impromptu. We were not really planning to do this for weeks in advance. We never plan anything weeks in advance, but uh, we did get our hands on this new bottle of Kirkland Small Batch and decided, you know what? Well, this is pretty much how it all came about because you like messaged me over the weekend. Yeah, I'm like, hey, like, can you do a live? I got it. Like, what? And of course, Dylan's like, no. <laughs> I'm not going to show up for Kirkland. And on a Monday. On a Monday. <laughs> I mean, it was quite a stretch for me too, man. <laughs> uh, but I think we will have the whole squad here uh, maybe in a week, two weeks. We got, we'll, we'll get some dates nailed down and uh, – have another big live with everybody. Uh, but yeah, so Kirkland small batch is out. We're going to be cracking into that momentarily. And I think we're actually going to do it as a blind between these two, the small batch 1792 and this. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. Um, that seems more interesting. It does seem more. It'd be more fun because yeah. we can humiliate ourselves. Pretty actually, I don't think there's a wrong, wrong answer for it, <laughs> really. Oh, no. We're, we're always wrong. We're always wrong. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll get into some of the details on that. Um, for anybody watching the replay, welcome to you as well. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can get notified when our lives happen. Um, Do we even really hit notify the people? thumbs up button? <laughs> the, the thing with the thumbs up on it is good to hit. Helps us as well. And uh, you can join Curiosity Private if you want to see bonus footage. We have special videos for members. Members get early access to videos and. It's just a great way to help support this channel. And if you're watching live, another great way to support the channel is to drop a super chat. It also makes sure that we see your comment and respond to it because they pop up. Yeah, it's nice and bright. It's nice and bright. <laughs> From the list, the yeah. trail. The, uh, the old eyes can't see anymore. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's uh, check the chat real quick. I saw a good question here. Uh, yeah, Fred. Source, Fred was the first bottler, one in, man. distributor from Megadog. Mega dog. And uh, so I'm assuming you're talking about the Kirkland, obviously. So this is sourced from Barton. It actually says it. Why don't you do it? We can do a close-up. I forgot we can oh, do yeah. close-ups. So let's do a quick close-up of this. Uh, let's get a big close-up. So you can see there right under small batch, it says Barton 1792. And uh, yeah. Batch number 1124. So... Obviously from Barton. 92 proof. Lots of Barton source one stuff. One liter. Yeah, you one liter. Tell. Uh, we paid $19.99 for it. So around 20 bucks. It seems 20 bucks. like there's a couple dollar price variation state to state. Some people are reporting it. I like, saw one like on either Reddit or Instagram where they're like, it was 10 bucks more than what everybody else. So yeah, like I mean, 30 bucks. Some cost. states have crazy tax stuff. And, yeah. um, you know, you never know. Uh, everyone's right. going nuts over this. I mean, this is like the top of the tab, dude. It's new, and it's it says where the source is. So for comparison here, we also have the old Kirkland, the one that was available up until, I mean, might still be available in a lot of places. You can do a quick uh, close-up of it. <clears throat> this is the this was their Tennessee small batch. Yeah, different source, obviously, altogether. Yeah, obviously, it's Tennessee. And batch T-1796. Oh, this was a uh, 103 proof. Yeah, it was higher proof, so and, higher. It's, and it was age dated at seven years. I think the price was a little bit higher on it. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember, but I think it's also a one liter, right? Yeah. Was that one liter? Yeah. And then the other thing we, we brought out is another interesting comparison that is from the same distillery as these two is the very old Barton Baldwin Bond, which is uh, obviously from Barton. A little higher proof at 100 proof, but I think like 15 bucks, 16 bucks. So it'll be an interesting one to compare to the other two. But only in Kentucky. 
Uh, I think it's. I think no. you can. Oh get no, it. you're right. I think uh, it is available. I think now, you can right? get it more places now. It used to be a Kentucky exclusive. I, I picked this bottle up last time I was in Kentucky. 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 I wish I could like. <laughs> that is uh, exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new state. Okay. Um, oh, let me go back up on the chat. Started drinking. Then. I know. Seriously, this is bad. <laughs> okay. Audio quality good. Cool. All right. So Philip Stokely dig the shirt Dutch. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, I dig this too. I was supposed to wear a Curiosity Public shirt, but I forgot. <clears throat> I obviously. So yeah. Scott says if it was barrel proof night, Dylan would be there. Yeah, he would. He definitely would. Maybe it's a Monday night. That's the thing. <laughs> All right. So Dark Dylan Chicken says his Mondays off. Is that a six-year VOB bottle and bond or their non-age stated one? Hmm. This is uh, the non-age non stated one, I yeah. believe. Yeah, I did. I was not able to find the the six year, but this yeah. So this is the non-age stated iteration. I think they had like the age statement like on the neck somewhere when they had it. Mm. I could be wrong on that. I'm sorry. How much did you say you got that? <clears throat> fifteen bucks. You can find it for like fifteen, sixteen okay. bucks. Yeah, it's pretty inexpensive. Okay, Fred says possibly Tennessee Distilling Company. That I believe is what the old one was. The old Tennessee one. A lot of people suspected it was Dickel. I know when we tasted it and reviewed it, we were pretty sure it wasn't. And then yeah. later we did find on, I think, Kirkland's Facebook page, they posted a video. Right. And I think it was this Tennessee Distilling Company that did this this old version. Uh, the very old Barton might win. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, it is in a few states, as Fred's pointing out. Mm. So, yeah, thanks, Fred. Um, all right. Awesome. So. What should we start with? Should we start with the blind between the Kirkland and the 1792, or should we should we start out with the old one just as a point of comparison? Mm. Set the palate. Yeah, I've not had anything to drink yet, so just got off work. It'd be nice to set the palate, I guess. Let's set the palate. So we're yeah. gonna. No, we should go right into the blind, right? Maybe I don't know. I got carnassada fries. Okay, that's fine. We'll set the palate. <laughs> so we're gonna take a quick sip here of the old uh, Tennessee version of Kirkland just to get ourselves set for the new one. Yeah, because actually I don't even remember this. Anymore. Well, I mean, we reviewed it. You guys can check out our review. You want more? <laughs> Sorry. Sure. That was a horrible form. <laughs> and I spilled it. But anyway. There we go. <laughs> I don't remember what it ended up scoring. I think it was a... Uh, I'd have to look it up. But not... I feel like this didn't meddle. I think it did. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's oh, not bad, actually. <laughs> this is quite enjoyable. <laughs> Maybe this bottle's opened up a bit. I mean, I we filmed that review, I think, last year or something. Oh, my God. It's like a cherry bomb, though. Yeah, it's a lot of... Mm. I mean, the, the more I've tried this, the more I realize how different it is than Dickel. I don't know why people ever thought it was Dickel. I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, it's... But... It's a little grainy. Yeah. Bit of sweetness, bit of honey, bit of honey, bit of honey, like the candy bar. Right. No, there's some, there's some honey there. Is, yeah, like honeysuckle. It's very, uh, it's pleasant. It's not, not, not offending. It's not off putting. The grainy isn't off putting. Though. No, it's not it's enough to be off putting. Nice, it's a good yeah. amount of good finish enough. is short. Good mixer <laughs> for the price. Yeah. <laughs> So Ethan says, I don't normally drink on Mondays, but enjoying a bit of Mezcal now in honor of you being live tonight. Well, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you, Appreciate Ethan it. Russell. I'm the same. I normally don't drink on Mondays, I think. Me neither. I didn't yesterday either. So it's just a what? special occasion here on a Monday when we get your Costco bourbon. Yeah, no. <laughs> See, I did not do my Costco run this weekend. We'll so. start the week off right. <laughs> wow. This is pretty... Enjoyable. You know? <laughs> I'm surprised how much I am enjoying it's a, it. It's an easy it's sipper. Good. It's an easy background whiskey. Mm -hmm. You could make cocktails with it because it's cheap. It's got a decent amount of proof. It, it was 100 and 103. 103. <clears throat> 103 proof. One liter. Yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, interesting. So, again, this is the old Tennessee, Tennessee Kirkland bourbon that we're just kind of setting our palates with. Made by Tennessee Distilling Company, I think is the name of it. Again, if you check out our video, you can just search on our channel for our review of the Kirkland bourbon. Yeah, let's <laughs> know. Uh, Did it actually metal? <laughs> <laughs> we, we can, you can look that up. I know. I can probably look this up. But. <clears throat> um, 
Well, I'm enjoying my drink. Man. Okay, fine. <laughs> hey, you know what? If, if anybody cares enough, they can watch mm -hmm. the video. It'll it'll help our metrics. So, okay. Jeez, what a plug, dude. <laughs> It's a, it must be a Monday night. It's a Monday night. Uh, okay, let's get ourselves poured. Um, so the way we've set this up is that we got two glasses. One of these says K for Kirkland. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of see. Go that. to the other cam. K. No. And then the other one has a 17 for 1792. It, it kind of shows up there. So we're just going to do this on the fly. So <laughs> let's make sure we pour everything in the right glass. So here's the 17. Here's the K. 17. Okay, so we're gonna crack these up now. These are both brand new bottles. Um, I actually went out this morning and picked this one up because, um, you know, it'd only be fair to compare neck pour to neck pour. I think, you know, I didn't want to have a bottle. I do know because I was downstairs and I saw that we had like two of these. <laughs> no, they're all foolproof. Oh, were they foolproof? Yeah, I don't actually think we have have one in the a small batch in the stash. Um, so yeah, small batch seventeen ninety two. Can you pour this one first? All right, and now the I realized I should have Kirkland while you were doing that. I should have opened that. <laughs> you know, that. You not could, used to it, man. You could do something. Like, nah, <laughs> I'm just, just here to drink. I take up you, space on the set, and <laughs> make weird noises. Oh uh, yeah, usually roll your eyes at things. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, great. There we go. So, so when you picked this up, I mean, was it flying off the shelf? No, there was a huge crate of it oh, <laughs> just yeah? sitting there. Oh wow! And they had uh, they had Hibiki Harmony for sixty. Yeah, for bucks some too. reason, with like how the you know how the internet goes and everything, I feel like it was flying off the shelf. You know? I think it's cheap enough, and they have enough of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just fascinated. So that, I mean, volume. Barton Barton is sourcing so much stuff right now. They're sourcing this, which just think about the sheer volume that they're going to have to source for yeah, this for Costco. And then Jeez. you also think about them sourcing um, all those fifteen year things that are out there, like the Calumet. Calumet. That everybody says is Barton. I'm trying to get the levels. Dude, not bad, Dutch. Oh, I spilled a lot. There's, there's a table. But you know what? It's cheap. It's one for the table. It's cheap. 20 bucks. 20 so, bucks at a liter. For a liter. So make sure you have a... Uh, wait, these are both 17. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one of each. So one of each. And now uh, why right. don't you look that yeah. way and I'll mix 17. yours up. All right. And I'll close my eyes. Close your eyes. Mix, 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 mix. All right. And now you can mix mine up. Okay. Should I do you it with my eyes closed? Close your eyes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we've been thoroughly mixed. The color is very similar. Should I, I'll cover the sticker. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Dude, these are the same. Very, very close. Uh, this, whatever this one is, looks a tiny bit darker, maybe. I don't know. Mm, not mine. It's like a, a fraction, a mm. fraction of a hue. Mm. Uh, so let's, color guys. let's compare the nose. All right. Ready to go? Going in. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's free. One is really fruity. One's like, Mixed tropical fruit. Yeah, um, like with you. Really, and then the other one. I mean, it's fruity, but I got to cover up the bottom because I can't not see as, it on the screen. Uh, not as tropical, huh? Yeah, one is kind of bland. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the other one's got a lot of fruit. Wow, a lot of fruit. Okay, so which one's your fruity one? Hmm. Okay, this one, the one in my right hand. Is the fruity? Yeah, one. same with me. So maybe maybe ours are this. <laughs> we'll see how similar our palates oh, and we'll noses see. are in a second. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of fruit on. So there is a distinction, though. There yeah, there is a distinction. Yeah. This one's a, the other one's a little more sugary. Mm. Like I get sugar on the other one. Pretty clear sugar. For me, the distinction is mostly on like tropical fruit heavy. The other one, I mean, it's fruity, but yeah, not as much tropical. Um, all right, we'll give these another second to just sit in the glass, check the, uh, the comments a bit here, because I know we've been, I don't know. Talking to ourselves. <laughs> all right. Yeah, what the, is everybody drinking? The Let's Transient see. Trail Blazer says, a great use of Varel Barton is making vanilla extract out of it. Just add five to 10 split vanilla beans to it and wait two months. That sounds awesome. Whoa. 
That sounds really nice. Extract. All right. I don't know if I can wait two months. Uh, catching up here. Oh, so we've got a, a giveaway here. So Cosmos Mariner says, hint, if it smells like banana Jack Daniels, it's the Kirkland small batch. So maybe that's our fruity one is the Kirkland. Mm. Let's see. <clears throat> I like it. All right. A lot of people are having a pour of 1792 with us. Peter B. Have nice. a pour with us. Oh, yeah. Welcome. All right. Awesome. Dark Meat Chicken says 1792 smells like runts. Oh All right, you ready to go get into this? <laughs> Let's do it, All man. Right. So, uh, for the palate. I'm going to start on my, with my left-handed one here. Spilled. I got to cover it. Because like every every time I pick it up, I can you see it. You can actually see it. I can, can see you? it in the, Dude, in the monitor. Like oh, man. I'll, I'll drink it. I'll do it this way. Hmm. Spicy, grainy. So I did the one that is uh, the not fruit. Yeah, me too. Oh, first. I okay. think because I think I think we both thought we might it. be on the same. Yeah, on the right. So yeah, I did the left, and the fruit does not carry through on the palate. <laughs> so there isn't anything there. Um, this one is slightly grainy for me, but yeah. it's not off putting. The finish is really short for whatever reason. And I don't. Yeah, There's a decent amount of spice. Yeah. It's pleasant. There's some really thin Everything honey feels fruit. Thin. Yeah. Hmm. Let's double check the proof point. So the Kirkland is, what do we say, 92? I think it's the same, right? 93.7. So small One. batch hmm. 1792 is a little bit higher proof. Hmm. All right, I'm going to cleanse the palate. Me too. And uh, jump into the, uh, the fruitier nose one. Mm. Not nearly as spicy to me. Not as spicy, not as grainy, I think. Not too. as grainy. Uh, I think there's a longer finish on this. A little bit longer finish, a little more mellow, a little less interesting on the palate. I was going to say, it actually seems more turned down. <laughs> yeah, muted, I would say. <laughs> so maybe that's the proof, if this is the, the Kirkland. Uh -huh. Again, we're going in blind here. Man. Completely blind. Although that hint... The, the, right, the might be the one's the correct one, yeah. <laughs> so here's a good comment while we're tasting this. Dark Meat Chicken says, we need to do a 1792 drink through. Mm. Agreed. Yeah, we've been working we on it. building something. Man, so between the three of us, I think we've had the 12-year lined up and, like, ordered and then canceled, like, three times. So we've been trying to get a few more before we do a, a proper drink through. We have some of them, but... I tried once, but I think you yours kept getting canceled. I got yeah, like, I got it canceled times. twice. Yeah, 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 and then I was too late the third time to try uh -huh. to get it. Um, so yeah, it is uh, yeah, elusive. On our to some of those are just elusive still. Yeah, but we do have the sweet wheat. I think we have the high rye. We've got the foolproof. We do have a huge lineup of foolproof picks that we're thinking about doing something with. Kind of like what we did with our Blantons one, where we uh, we had a regular non barrel non. pick. Right. And we're going to compare it to, I mean, we have a ton oh. of them. I think there's like six or seven different barrel picks. Whoa, really? So I don't know how we would do that. Wow. But, um, I don't remember that. We might do that in the near future. But yeah, I've been wanting to do something with that. It's just, it becomes so hard to find. It's frustrating. Okay, let's go back in one more time here. Okay, so I think from the nose, it's still the same for me, even though they've had time to open up. Um, so this going back in, right. I went back into this, the one on the right, the yeah. one that has the better nose, and it's it's almost a little sour mm. having it first. There's all, it's it's weird. Mm. Would you say like a sour banana? It's like a green <laughs> banana, but on the finish more, like it comes late. Mm. But it does have a decently long finish. And there's some sweetness in there. It's just there's some drying aspects to it. Almost tannic. Oh, there is a drying aspect. You're right. Yeah. I'm noticing it more right now. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's try the uh, the other one here. Oh, weird. The thing that lingers though that I'm reminded of is like um raw peanuts. 
Okay. It's weird. The drying. You know, have you ever eaten at, uh, man, what's that restaurant? Northwoods? I don't know if that's a West Coast thing only, but I have no idea. Like, they got peanuts everywhere, dude. That's what they serve. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so it's like a dive bar. Like, not really. I mean, it's like supposed to be a nice steakhouse kind oh, okay. of thing. But what it is is that their shtick is that they got peanuts everywhere and you just dump the shells on the floor yeah. everywhere else. I've been to bars stuff, like that before. It's like I walked into Northwoods, dude. I don't know. I don't get that much. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. Uh, interesting. Okay. We're going to go back into this one more time. Uh, we got. Almost 100 people in here right now and only Whoa, 27 oh, likes. Monday? Only 27 likes. So if you're in here, hit that like. That's the button that looks like a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, that would be awesome. Or the thumbs down, whatever. Just yeah, let us just know. do something. Let yeah. us know you're alive. We're just checking on you. And if you're just joining us, just like, you know, we're actually doing a blind of the recently released Kirkland Small Batch, which was supposed to be some, or sourced 1792. <laughs> Source from Barton. Says it on the label. Says it on the label. So we know for sure. Right. And we're comparing it, yeah, to the Barton 7092 small batch. You know, barely one proof difference. And this is completely blind, though, folks. I mean, we yeah. we opened it just a few minutes ago for Both the first of them time. Are, are brand I've models. never tried this. I don't have it bottled my, uh, myself on home, but we'll see. I don't know that I have a favorite. Well, you got to pick one. I will, but I mean, I, I, they're very like they're they're different. I mean, it's but funny. I, in the, to summarize, summarize it, I would actually say this feels. Oh, so that's what's interesting. So this was muted on the nose, the left. Yeah. Which but, I was getting less tropical notes. But on. better palate for me. But better palate. Yeah, there's some spice this in there. One, yeah, exactly. There's a good sweetness, a little bit of grain, oh, and right. then the the one on the right, which had a better nose. Better nose, agree. Like tropical, fruity. The palate though felt more muted. So. Mm -hmm. Very. Thin. But the finish is better. Yeah, but there's still that. But sour, it's the drying sour thing. Sour tannic thing. I'm, yeah, I'm not getting out. the sour tannic. <clears throat> Maybe that's what I'm getting with a dried I mean, it, it's, peanuts. It's like tannic yeah, yeah. to me. I don't know. I mean, it's not overwhelming. Sometimes you have ones that like you can't keep drinking it. It's not horrible. It's just I pick up a little bit of it. Hmm. I'm left with, yeah, I'm still left with like a little bit of a sour finish on it. Hmm. It's a longer finish. Yeah, it's longer But finish. it's just not, it's a little bit like tannic finish for me. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I don't know if I could just go as far as describing as tannic, but it's definitely drying. And oh man, my mouth is really dry right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So good comment here from Koji. Or sorry, comment. Good question. Kirkland or comment. Wow. Am I drunk? <laughs> it's Monday, oh, yeah. bro. It's Monday, dude. Uh, uh, Kirkland is also getting a bottled and bond and another in the vertical. That is correct. So the bottled and bond. And then they're also going to have a cask strength single barrel. Really? So I don't think either. At least this year. They're, I I think they're going to be coming out in the following months. Oh no way! Um, yeah, I did not know. So we'll definitely try to get our hands on those. I think once we have the, all of them, maybe we'll That'd do be a cool drink through. Yeah, dude. do a cool drink through of them. Um, or maybe just do them in another live. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're they're pretty <laughs> popular. I mean, the great thing about Kirkland is that it's. They have a lot of it, and it's, it's tied to Costco, and it's everywhere. And it's huge. <laughs> um, I'd love if anybody in the comments, also, if you're outside of the United States, mm. have you seen it? Um, mm. I know some people in Canada have been posting that it hadn't hadn't hit there yet, but I'm I'm very intrigued to know whether. Oh that... man, the Costco in Canada, though, holy moly! Have you ever been? No, dude, it's like the, their uh, their food court is way better, like menu wise. Really, way better than the one here. Oh, they have more than the chicken they, bacon. The dude, hot dog? they sell poutine. Okay, and it's good. like some of the best poutine you would have. Because I actually did like a Vancouver trip where we were hunting down with my family, like hunting down different poutine. Costco <laughs> ended up being the better tasting poutine by the majority not... of my family members. <laughs> hey, I mean, dude. it's like you know IKEA meatballs. Oh, yeah. dude, those are the best. Those are the best. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. I'm gonna taste the uh, left one again for me. So there's a question from Megadog three four two says, "Does Barton make Jethro Boots, the house brand at CVS?" I've not seen that, and I don't know. We do. At CVS, huh? I'll have to take a look. But if anybody in the chat knows, maybe you can answer the question because I have no idea. Hmm. All right. So let's give these one more go. You got a you got a favorite? I don't have a favorite, but I, I think I have a favorite. favorite. 
whatever this is is my favorite. The one oh, that has the left, the more bland nose, but the palate is just so much better on it. Mm. You know, there's some, it cuts through, it punches through. Um, we should mention price point. Did I say that earlier? I, we may have, but I bought this, it again. this morning was $25 at a local grocery store here. You'll see it up into 30 bucks sometimes, sometimes mm -hmm. a little bit more. I've seen it as low as 19 at some places. So pretty wide range on it. Again, the, uh, the Kirkland 1999 here in Southern California, we've heard it as low as maybe seventeen ninety nine, as high as like twenty twenty one. Ten bucks more. Well, ten bucks more. Actually, really? I forgot what state. Yeah, that it was really maybe it Washington. really stood up. Uh, yeah, maybe it really stood up. I totally forgot what state though. But the fact that the guy wrote like, dude, it's ten bucks more than what everyone else has been saying. So. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mark, with what? the super chat. Oh, Thank you so Mark. much for supporting the channel. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. it. Says cheers. Came in late. The Kirkland small batch is not here in central Minnesota as of yet. Mm. How much does it go for? Yeah, you probably just heard us saying that. Nineteen ninety nine here, Southern um, California. I, I think I saw somebody posting somewhere that it, like they found it in their state for seventeen ninety nine, and then Jules was saying some some places up to five to ten. I wish I remember more. the state, but yeah, I mean, someone on Reddit or Instagram posted like it was ten bucks more than what everyone. I else think like was in Wash in so. Washington, don't they tack on a like an extra tax? Mm. Mm -hmm. So maybe one of those states that has yeah, some maybe. extra alcohol tax or something. But again, I mean, twenty to thirty dollar range, maybe cheaper than that. So it's like still not bad. So one I mean, liter. Yeah, that's the thing to keep in mind. It's one liter. Yeah, it's one liter compared to the seven fifty milliliter of the seventeen ninety two small batch, which is you know anywhere from twenty to thirty bucks. So thanks again, Mark. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your support of the channel. It means a lot to us. All right. So do we want to reveal? Do you have a favorite? Did you pick a favorite? Uh, not yet. Let me. Uh, so you picked a favorite already, right? Yeah, I, I prefer whatever this one is. I just think it's there's something a little bit off putting on the palate of this one. Yeah, it's it's again, it's not horrible, but it's you know this is like a a barely a bronze, <laughs> or it's a bronze. Oh, you're you putting know. a medal on it. Eh? I mean, if I had to just <laughs> pick a pick a pick a medal out of there, yeah. it's like a sixty. Five. But actually, we should remind people, like since uh, Mark mentioned he had just joined. Yeah, so we actually poured these blind. Yeah, there's labels um, on the bottom. Labels that on not, the bottom that we looking. don't know, and then we mix them without uh, either of us looking. So we really don't know what we're drinking, which one we're drinking. So uh, this is a truly blind uh, competition. And you still can't pick a favorite, huh? And I think, oh man. Okay, well I'm gonna split. The decision two things one i love the nose of this one whatever this one is the nose is I way agree. more pleasant um than it this is one. a better house. now palette it just has an additional feature i would say hmm. like it's not like the nose of the other one is bad it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. there's not as oh, much yeah. fruit on it mm. oh man okay palette <laughs> I am enjoying this more, but I think only because this feels so muted, even though it is still pretty, it's pleasant. It's, it's, it's still pleasant. Yeah, it's not bad. It does feel... Uh, it's a little bit more like a mixing whiskey, though, I feel like, you know? It, it, Ooh, it, like, calling it out already, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the, the thing I was thinking was we should have gotten a glass of ice and tried them over ice. Mm. Because a lot of people, you know, if you're spending... 10 to 20 bucks on a bottle. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right you're not going to carry like, hey, I want it on the rocks. I'm chilling out. I don't want to, you know, I'm not sitting here nosing it out of Glen Karen. It is funny because actually this one where, it you know, I love like the that. nose and the palate is not as interesting. I would probably want yeah. it chilled, yeah. you know. Uh, so do you, you, I think I'm going to go for, just to be different, I think I'm going to go for <laughs> this one. <laughs> Just because the, the nose, the nose was far more interesting. Yeah, but the, um, you're sipping the it. The palate is it's muted. It's got that tannic, but there. and it's oh my god, it's really drying in the mouth. So though, how can so. that be your favorite, really? Just because, like, I'm <laughs> just to be, be different. different. <laughs> got to be contrarian to you, man. Okay. And watch, it's going to be <laughs> like we pick the exact same thing. <laughs> man, yeah, that'd be hilarious. Uh, so uh, let's let's guess now. Do you have a guess? I have no idea. I have no idea, but I'm going to use the, uh, the community. information. Yeah, because yeah, they gave me a hint or gave lifeline, us a hint. The lifeline. So our lifeline, I think this is Kirkland. I agree. I think that this one is Based Kirkland. off of mostly just the nose. So I, I have no idea on Pal. I think I preferred the 1792. You think you preferred the Kirkland. I think so. <laughs> you guys ready for the reveal? <laughs> oh, man. As usual in our blinds, dude. I hope we're completely we wrong. Go completely wrong. Or you're going to be wrong. right. 100%. All right. So I can do this without like spilling. This is the Kirkland. Oh, 
this is the 1792. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So you, we both preferred 1792. We wow. smelled different things on it, apparently. Wow. And tasted different things. Wow. Holy moly. Well, so at least there's a window. Gotta check our work here. <laughs> did you not? <laughs> Actually, it was better that you did all the pours then. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure. You tried. Tried. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the same. It's weird. <laughs> you got something. Which was your 1792? I think they're the same. They're the same. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But different. Uh, okay. So that was pretty funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> wow. But at least there was a winner. See, I think the nose on this is better. Well, so, yeah, obviously, 1792, the clear winner here, guys. Um, wow. And it's so crazy. We were describing. <laughs> power suggestion. Goes to suggestion. show, though, man. Goes to show. It doesn't. I mean. Well, I just it's good that we both picked the same we thing. We both picked um, the same. So I guess at the end of the day, let's let's give some closing thoughts on the on the Kirkland here, the the, the new small batch. At, wow. at twenty bucks, it's it's still not bad. It's not bad bourbon. It's just not good or great bourbon. You know, it's <sighs> if it had been this, I'd be very impressed mm. at that price point for a liter. As it is, it's it's okay to sip on it, mm. but it's probably going to be put in old fashions more. Definitely a great mixer. It's I mean, great you're mixer. not you're, you don't feel bad. You only spend twenty bucks on this. Maybe yeah. at most thirty, but uh, you buy it with your Clorox wipes. Yeah, you can stock up Can't on. I mean, like, look if you're going to, if you're hosting a big party, no, yeah. you buy a case of this. There's all the whiskey you need for that party. Anybody yeah. wants to sip it neat, they're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna puke. Mm. I mean, maybe they will, but they were not. They're not gonna turn up their nose necessarily. Like, oh, I can't drink that. Like, you can drink it. It's not gonna be your favorite thing, and then you can mix it. Yeah. So I think it kind of works. You don't feel for, bad about it. You're getting one liter too. You're getting one liter. You're getting for 20 one bucks. liter. At that price point, I can't fault it. But um, so let's. But fill, we both pick 17. We both pick 17. <laughs> so let's. Uh, let's what the heck? Let's fill a glass with the very old Martin. And, it's almost uh, like we should. <laughs> and just do a quick compare out here. Yeah. Uh, I'll label these now. Yes. Let's put a. Uh, green oh maybe, or uh, whatever. Yellow. Well, it's red. I'm gonna write because I can't. Remember things. Okay. Barton. Wow. I'm These are all Barton. I like how I wrote the one thing that uh, won't differentiate it at all. So let's so see how amazing. the very old Barton. Let's see what the comments. Which are. is the screw top, by the way. Oh. Look how much darker it is. Oh yeah, look at that. It's so much darker. I mean, it is. Uh, it is higher proof. So we're on the Kirkland. What was the top? I didn't even pay attention to that. Is it? Oh, is yeah. it synthetic? It's no, synthetic. real cork. Real cork. Yeah, same thing go. with the this one. Yeah, I have had these break on me. Yes, me too. Past, so, all right, let's uh, let's just open up for a second and check in on the chat. They're probably ripping us. And I'm They're gonna ripping me a new one. I'm gonna put my <laughs> sticker. Seventeen ninety two, y'all. Okay, I can't get the sticker off here. So, I mean, we do have a definitive winner. Yeah. All right. One so, ahead. let's catch up here. Uh, so Lando says Kirkland Small Batch is eighteen ninety nine in DC. Uh, people are laughing at us. <laughs> Walking ears says blinds are crazy. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. They Walking are, ears uh, cannot believe it anymore. It is funny. Uh, it's too crazy, man. Uh, but you wake. know, it's like the dead honest reaction. That's the thing. Like we're, we, didn't, we didn't edit anything on this. Nothing edited. So. We can't. We can't fix it in post. Yeah. <laughs> Like we well, even then, in post, we don't fix anything. Yeah, we usually don't. So we much usually, easier to edit. We usually highlight the stupid stuff we right. do as opposed exactly. to fix it. Uh, very curious about this. I missed it. What was the verdict? We both picked the 1792. And we just poured this right now. We haven't even tasted this yet. So yeah. we're going to be comparing that in a second. And these we did blind. Obviously, now we're not blind anymore. We know what's what. But yeah, we both preferred the 1792. Although... Although the way I described everything, it sounded like it was the Kirkland. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was weird. You're gonna have to watch that on the replay. Cause... Oh my god! All uh, right, the Transient Trailblazer says Jules felt that the palette was better on the Kirkland. I did. You're summarize. absolutely right. That's what's tripping me. Yeah, out. that is very interesting. <clears throat> Which I completely disagree with. 
We still picked the same thing. But again, thing. it, it we was like, the same thing. I mean, dude, it's literally like, we're, you know, as uh, our astute uh, colleague likes to say, Delon, you know, we're comparing oranges to oranges, though. I mean, literally, we're just nitpicking, like, the minute detail of yeah. the difference. I agree with that. Uh, so Fred Gilbert says, but at that point, you might as well buy the... Oh, wait, I missed the earlier question. Uh, should I buy the Kirkland Small Batch or, v or Varial Barton? I don't know. We're about to sip on the Varial right. Barton and see what we think on that. Uh, yeah, good question here. What about the 1792 full proof versus Kirkland barrel proof? As soon as that Kirkland comes out, yeah, we'll, um, do, the comparo. we'll do a we comparison. We have the 1792 downstairs. We have plenty of the 1792 full proof. Yeah. Uh, that's one of my favorites. I don't know. I mean, I'll say the downside maybe is that the Kirkland is a uh, single barrel. Oh. The Kirkland barrel proof is going to be a single barrel. Single barrel. So it, you know, I don't know how much variation there's going to be barrel to barrel oh, with that. Interesting. That's something to keep in mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If anybody has seen that already, please let us know. It has not hit where we are in Southern California yet. All right. Wong Jeff X says Costco is too high end for me. <laughs> we'll wait for Walmart branded permit. There you go. Hey, we'll review it if it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, Eric has a good question here. Would you pay 20 bucks because it's a good deal or 35 bucks because you like it? Ooh, that's a great question. Hmm. And I hate answering with that. That's a great question. <laughs> I, but, okay, in this case, it's making me think. If I was having a party hmm. and I knew a lot of people were either were going to be mixing it, just dumping it in Coke or something, I would pick this up because it's versatile and I can have that. And then I can hide the good sipping bourbon in a cabinet or something and, you know. I don't know. It's no, 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 no. Let's change that. Let's change that. <laughs> just go back let's change the, Yeah, let's change the hypothetical. You only had to pick. You could only bring one of these, and that's all you had to offer. I'm gonna buy the. I'm gonna buy the 1792. Yeah. I mean, at the price difference, it's not. I, just, I paid 25 bucks for this today. It was five bucks more essentially. Yeah, I got a little bit less, but I, if I'm gonna be sipping on it, I would prefer to sip on this. And so I'd be at 20 to pay, or 35 doesn't matter. You know, at 35, maybe yeah. I would pick up the at 20 bucks. Really? Yeah, if it's that high. Ooh, I wouldn't pay thirty five for seventeen ninety two small batch personally. Ooh, so. yeah, no, same here. Um, if I had to pick between the two, I think uh, I would literally the decision would go down to um, if I didn't already have seventeen ninety two. Um, if I was just going to go buy it, it's like, well, if I had to go buy other stuff, you know, I got to go get my Clorox wipes. Then I, I guess I am just going to go buy this too. Fair enough. Uh, here's a good uh, clarification from Dark Meat Chicken. It says the Varial Barton on the neck tag does it have a crested B, or does it say 100 proof? The old ones used to have a six year on the tag, then they went to 100 proof, and now they have the B. Mm, crested B. This one says 100 proof. Are oh, we gonna do a close up? Yeah, yeah, I forgot that we can do close ups now. Hang right. on a second. We'll show you. We will show you with our magic the the button click. There, see. So I don't know where the neck tag. it would be. Oh, he just said neck tag. Yeah. Okay. So it, it would only be on the neck tag. Yeah. So it just says underproof on it. I don't yeah. know if you saw that. It's glitchy. There's a glitch in the matrix. Mm. And I just realized my microphone is in the shot a little bit here. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't really loud. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this I picked this one up maybe four years ago, maybe five years ago. Mm. It's been sitting around for a while. So yeah, before they switched that neck tag, obviously. So let's let's jump in. Oh, yeah, I, I mean. I forgot. This I mean, and noticeably darker. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can pick that up on the main cam, but it's quite a bit darker. Again, we're maybe with my black background. We're yeah, because that's gonna make it better. <laughs> exactly. I think my shirt might do a better job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with in front of your black print, darker. text yeah. print. You can see how much darker yeah, in front of my white go. face. <laughs> um, it's it is considerably darker though. Oh my gosh, that nose is so much better. I'm getting a tropical thing from it though. <laughs> did you just like <laughs> shove a pineapple? Seriously, dude. Right yeah, pineapple, mango, banana. I mean, I think it's the proof. Man, that you know, the nose on the Kirkland is really good. It's, it's still... comparable, dude. <laughs> no, but why. that's the Kirkland. Yeah, I know. But that's oh, what okay. I mean. That's why I did all three, though. Just to double check. Mmm. I prefer the Barton nose, the Varial Barton. There's, but there's more. There's more going on for sure. It's I mean, richer. you got to tease it's it out. Deeper. It's richer. Yeah, it's got a little bit of punch to it. So yeah, it's, it's good. Let's try the palate. Mm. 
Oh, big difference, obviously. I mean, you're getting everything there. Woo! I'm getting a nice, that. oh, it's like, I'm getting a mix of, it's awesome, though, like this peanut brittle yeah. thing that's happening. I'm getting some of the fruit jam, you yeah. know, it's so good. This, this is way better. Yeah. It oh. is a little bit drying on the finish. Similar, Just a little bit, but not as much as the, uh, as this one as for the me. Kirkland, the, <laughs> as the Kirkland for you and the, uh, apparently the 1792 for me. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I, this is this is Martin. It's so good. Mm. I mean, it's it's pretty spicy. It's punchy. The, there's some rough edges on it, but it's you know sixteen bucks. Sixteen. And bucks. I think wait, know, what's the proof point on that again? Hundred. It's, it's bottom, so oh yeah, bottom bond. So hundred. Actually, I think it's just hundred. Just hundred proof. Yeah, it's just hundred proof. It's not okay. actually bonded, is it? Oh, it is bottled and bond. Okay. It says right there on the front of the label. <laughs> it says I'm staring big. at it. All right. So interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I huh. think if you have access to this, and I think Go it's got. for that, but I mean, I oh my God, there's so much more depth yeah, to it. The 100 proof, very old Barton is the clear winner here. Yeah. I don't even think it's close. No. Let me go back and try. Although, could you tell in the blind? The proof is, is huge. I feel like you could, yeah. Go back to the other ones. It's yeah. like drinking water now. Yeah. I mean it it also depends what kind of a drinker you are. If you're not like a somebody mm. that loves to sip on bourbon neat, mm. these are more approachable. This is for the more experienced bourbon drinker that maybe likes the high proof hit. Yeah. Which I think we probably do. Yeah. Um Dylan would pick this one, certainly. No question. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah. Oh man. But this one you'd feel bad about mixing it. No, fifteen At bucks. Price dude. Point, fifteen bucks. But it's so like from a palate point of view, though, is where really dude, where I'm getting. You at. could make an awesome old fashioned with that. Yeah, you could. And it's sixteen bucks. Uh, so I, I went online before the live started. If you can find it, and I found a place that will ship it. I mean, online. You, you can find bucks. it online right now. So yeah, sixteen bucks. Oh, How do you yeah. beat that? Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, undercut in right. Costco. It's pretty impressive. Here's right? a good question from Mark. Have you tried the bro? Brach Bros Bourbon. Bro. Costco here just got it in, and it actually has good flavor for a young bourbon. Twenty five ninety nine. I have not seen Bro, that. I haven't. I haven't even seen that. Yeah. Broke. Bro. 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 Bros. Bro. Bros. Bro. Brothers Bourbon. I don't know. Yeah. Costco, huh? I'll have to take a look. Thanks for the heads up. Twenty five ninety nine. All right. So. Casper 37 says, your Vero Barden is still bottled and bond. The last couple of years don't have that anymore. We'd be curious to see versus the modern Vero Barton. Good to know. So, yeah, keep that in mind, folks. This is an older bottling. Apparently, the new ones are no longer bottled and bond. I did not know so that. So, just a bit, the, the new ones have that B crest that. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's. Dark meat chicken was talking about. I right? think it's still 100 proof. So, I don't know. Oh. We I, honestly I haven't done my homework on this. I have had this sitting around for quite a while. Um, but. Anybody with more info, you guys are posting it and letting us know. So thank you. Let us know. Uh, all right, DMC in the house. Welcome. Hey. Uh, last 100 proof BOB I bought was still bottled and bond. It was crazy ethanol forward to me. Ooh. I don't know. I, I, I Ethanol forward, huh? Maybe, you know, this was. This a, has been sitting for a while. Yeah, though. but I mean, it was. I mean, I poured out maybe like a tiny mm. bit just to taste it when I got it, I think. So it's, I mean, it's had a little bit of air, but. There's some spice. I don't get a lot of ethanol on this, though. Me either. I, don't know I mean, it could be that it's been opened. I don't yeah. know, but I, I don't remember. I, maybe it was a little bit punchier when I first tried it. I, mm. I'm trying to remember, but interesting. Uh, yeah, Lando wants to know, what did Jules bring? I asked him the same thing he when he did. showed up. <laughs> asked him the exact yeah, same Dutch thing. Yeah, actually asked me first thing. Like, did you bring anything? And sadly, no. Monday has really thrown my game off. Yeah, I'm, I'm a not, really tough. Monday, I'm like, is it today Friday? Is it Thursday? What's going not on? I had a tough Monday. I don't know about you guys, but like seriously, like I, I felt like I need to take a nap in the middle of the day, but Dude, I me couldn't. Too. Me too. Oh, really? yeah. yeah, it's so weird, man. This was really an off day. Maybe it's because like the heat wave that's happening here in SoCal. Don't know, guys, but sorry, nothing, uh, nothing today. But maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah, I think a clear winner, Barton, Vero Barton, and now. 
if you guys have not a clear one, we didn't do it blind, dude. <laughs> Come on, there's no way, there's no way. I mean, it's the proof, it's 100 proof, like it can't. The others can't should, we, should we just touch on that, guys? <laughs> you want to wear the the, the blind yeah, wear the, So we did just fine right before we were going to come online. I guess apparently Dylan brought a stash of blindfolds that we had never used or seen before. We're like, what's the stash doing here? Yeah, he had a big bag. Of, I, I don't know why Dylan's bringing blindfolds <laughs> to the set. <laughs> yeah, so. You want to try it? Let's test it, man. You want to see if let's I can see. pick it out? Okay. Yeah, let's see. All right, look at my water here. So between all three. Okay. I'm going to mix up all, all three. Right, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Let's see how I'm that goes. Since he's calling it, but no contest. Since I can't even put on a blindfold properly. All right, man. Yeah, that's water. your glass. Now, our members, you guys saw us do an honor system blind the other day. And yes. we had these blindfolds sitting here on set and... Even Dylan didn't remember. We never used them. them. We just closed our eyes. Okay. All right, man. Uh, you don't need to mix it up that much. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> just for, you know, for pure uh, scientific. And reasons. I'm actually keeping my eyes closed underneath this, but I don't need to, I guess. Yeah. Okay. No, you do, because uh, one sticker is clearly different. Oh, good call. I can feel the sticker on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but all of them have it. So you should be feeling a sticker on all of them, at least. So, just if you guys are just joining us, Dutch claims that uh, very old Barton, hands down, no contest, better than uh, Kirkland Small Batch, uh, which is sourced from 1792, and then 1792 Small Batch. So, what do you think, man? There's no Barton here. Are you messing with me? Or is <laughs> you, You're messing with me, right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know, okay. it, dude. You can't tell. I'm telling you, man. <sighs> if I told had, I you, dude. This one. Told you. No. I just did the nose. Right. Oh, so you move the stickers. So I don't need this anymore. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I, maybe. I, oh, the color. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't actually tell from here. Okay. All right. But let's see, man. Mm, that's punchy. He'll get it right. He's really good at these. I know. <laughs> or is he? After a while, everything starts tasting the same. That's the problem. True. And three is really hard. Three is hard. Um, hmm. I'm telling it's you, definitely on the nose, you could weed out one. Yeah, I think on the nose, you can only weed out one. Definitely not that. Yeah. I can tell for sure. All right. I need that palate cleanser. This this has got something more to it. <laughs> but this one's not bad. I think I would go for this in the middle. But the middle? This one? Do I need to do it again? Nope. You got it right. Well like done, I said, Dutch. Easy. Well was... done. All right. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, I know you were sweating on this one, though, man. <laughs> you got called Ooh. out. There you go, guys. But I had that on the nose. That's what I said on yeah, the nose. Yeah, you did. You okay. did pick it on the right. nose. See, so. I did that completely blindfolded. I'm fine. Very nice, dude. You are a professional. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling I don't think I could pick it out. I'm telling you now. Wow. Yeah, that was... Uh, you want to try it? <laughs> You're sweat. No, because I know I wouldn't be able to pick it out. <laughs> You'll probably pick it out Kirkland. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dead honest here. They're so, really close. They're that close. But I mean, the flavor I think profile. The subtlety, yeah, yeah, the flavor profile is there. I think the subtlety is actually mostly in the palate, you know, and finish actually. This is it's the proof that carries this mm. ultimately. I think yeah. you, you know everything's louder. The the nose is louder. Yeah. The, all the flavors on the palate are louder. Uh, so this is. I think this must be this. The one I just threw out immediately. Let's see. It is. Yeah, it is the Kirk. Well okay. done. So obviously, I am consistent for the first time. <laughs> Uh, I guess now we should uh, catch up on chat. Yeah, we should. That was awesome, though, man. Well done, dude. Well done. All right, guys. 103 in in the chat. Wow, nice. We guys. got uh, 80 likes, so we're getting up there. Thanks. Nice. Keep hitting that like button. Appreciate oh, it. Yeah, could not agree with Bubble Bath Bourbon more. He goes, he did not want to go back to work after lunch. 
Yeah, yeah it something so happened weird to me yeah. after I ate lunch. I was Uh-oh. like, I was so tired. Yeah, and I was I kept trying to watch the soccer games, and then yeah, I was yeah. just like, oh man, I got to take a nap. I had the soccer games playing in the background too, but yeah, it's one of those where I could not. I was struggling at work. Today, maybe guys. we need to do so a live hard. every Monday because it's like I have to admit that was the one thing that was keeping me interested. Something to look forward to, interested you know? in today it was like, oh yeah, we're doing a Monday live. A Monday, it's so different. Uh, yeah, so Casper says, nice catch moving the label, Jules. Good. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. yeah, I know, because he would have felt that. I would have. Right? So. <laughs> and as soon as I felt the bottom of the glass, I was like, oh, wait, I felt the label. I know. And then, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, where is the other the label? Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Jules, uh, that's why Jules shows yeah, up. You know, that's why. That's why he's here. <laughs> to drink and be merry. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Euros were fired at a, insane games. Insane. I yeah. mean, both games, well, I don't know. If somebody DVR'd it, just. I didn't get to finish it, and Dutch was giving me a recap, and it was like I was blown away. Both of the games were there was a three-one lead going into the end of the game. Both games they got tied up. Both Mm. games go to extra time. One of them goes to penalties. Just insane. Mm. So good. Super super fun. There's so much sports going on right now. It's pretty hard. Basketball stuff too, right? Yeah, (laughs) exactly. Actually, I should find out what the score. The Suns are doing well. Is that right? Yeah, Phoenix, dude. Rising Suns. Amy oh. Bowman in the chat. Cheers, Dutch and Jules. Great to catch you live. Thank hey, you for coming to hang thank out. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate Especially everybody. on a Monday, man. man. Seriously. Yeah. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Can't believe you guys are awesome. Um, mm. Okay, so we always... Oh, we always uh, drink more than we... Uh, yeah, we, we got another <laughs> bottle that we're going to potentially crack into, but I want to get to this question first because it's mm. a good one. Uh, other than a Glen, what glass do you guys prefer sipping from? Another great question from mm. Dark Meat Chicken. So, mm. if I'm at home, not just having something at the end of the day, I'm almost rocks always glass. drinking out of a rock glass. Yes. <laughs> Me too, man, because I'm definitely putting some ice in there. <laughs> I am a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, you know, chill out. I mean, if I get, if I get something new and I want to try it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll still usually drink stuff. it out of a rocks first. I know. Me too. But I, will, I won't put any ice in it until yeah. like, you know, later maybe. Later. And I mean, it's been hot. So when it was hot, I love having something chill. Yeah. Uh, or chilled. I know Dylan uses his uh, copita. Right. He does. Did you lose signal? I did. I just got offline for whatever reason right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Well, Looks luckily like they dropped the main. So uh, hopefully you guys are still seeing us. Uh, no, I think the mainstream's going okay still. Okay. Let's Let's make sure. Yeah, let us know in the chat, guys, because it looks like I may have dropped uh, internet connection. Yep. Uh, oh, hey, Dylan, Dylan shows what? up. And he did that. Yeah, confirmed what up. I said, the Copita. Yeah, he drinks his, everything out of a Copita. No ice, no water, no nothing. Um, only 120 plus proof stuff. Uh, and if it's not, he proofs it up by adding Everclear to it. And uh, yeah, that's Dylan for you. Yeah, Ernie. Yes, we are still going. Nice. Oh yeah, I completely. We are died. still alive. My so, laptop died. I'm gonna read. I think just here. our B camera is gone, so we can't yeah. do any more bottle close-ups. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so I don't think Dylan's had a chance to try this yet. I think that Dylan would give this a uh, what? A low score. Did he like decide not to go to Costco? Because he still uses at Costco every other day, dude. Sometimes I wonder if he even works because half the time I'm getting a message he's at Costco. Yeah, he's like, look what I found, guys. <laughs> yeah, look, look what, what I, I found at Costco, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yes, dude! If only we could switch the screenshot, Dutch, because it's the classic. You should show the camera. Operating system can. not found, guys, on my laptop. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Gotta love it. I, I think I know. Technology. Yeah, yeah. reset it. Hard reset. reset. It that's a that's an old laptop. Yeah, it's the uh, the new one. Luckily, everything's running on the new one, so hopefully it keeps. Don't say anything. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. Well, it's quiet in here now because the fan of the finally yellow. quiet. It's like yeah. about to take off. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, dude, very old. Yeah, uh, Barton, so, uh, right? great comment here from Amy. Dylan's a proof substitute, and that's why we love him. Oh, great! Yeah. Proof really hard to say that three it. times fast. I know. I was about to say something else. Proof, yeah. <laughs> proof substitute. Okay, so. Um, if you tuned in to catch what happened with the Kirkland, yeah, if you're just you're joining us, way late. We didn't. We preferred this, the the regular 79 do small batch, and we preferred this even more, which is the uh, very old bar. And Dutch actually did all three blind. I did, and he was able to pick out the very old bar because yep. I challenged him. 
Versus I'm saying, I don't even think I could pick it out between these two. Dylan is drinking Doc Swinson 9 right now. Whoa. Guess what I had before the stream started, Fancy Dylan? pants. I poured the batch 10 right before the stream started to get uh, my palate acclimated. Uh, all right, some more good questions here. What release are you looking forward to for the back half of 2021? Mm. I'll tell you the one I'm... Besides the Kirklands? <laughs> besides the rest of the Kirklands. <laughs> the one I'm most looking forward to, I think, is uh, surprising maybe, is the new series that's going to be coming from Maker's Mark. Mm, They're going to be doing Maker's Mark is someone, some age-stated yeah. things at different proofs, and that just seems so interesting to me. So I'm... I'm Really they have different finish, finishes, right? Finishes. Finish, finishes. Well, they always have the, the private select stuff right. with different finishes. So yeah. I don't know. I, I don't remember if they're going to be different finishes, but I know they're going to be doing stuff at, to kind of show at different proofs and at different ages what happens to the, the mash mm. uh, and the distillate. So when is that Ardbeg drink through happening? Uh, probably we will I think film we're it. missing something. I think we're going to film it next time we film in a, in a week or so, maybe two weeks. So at some point after that, that one's another big one, dude. I think Isn't we, it? I think we're gonna cap it. I That's think like we have enough to do already, if not more. I think we have enough to do a good drink through of it. So, um, <laughs> what does that mean, dude? We do like crazy amounts. Man. <laughs> well, the one that's coming out up next, we'll tease uh, you guys. Is it's the biggest one we've ever done. And that's what we'll I'm leave it at right. that. But uh, you'll it maybe, basically they would not fit on the table. Yeah, we had to like move them back some more just so that they would fit. Do you need me to log into that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Technical technical issues difficulties. Here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you know how to use computers? There you go. Um, okay. So let's get into what we're going to have next. Oh, here. Dylan's got the info. Uh, special maker's release. Same thing as me. So obviously, we've been talking about that a lot. Uh, actually, pretty much every time we talk about that stuff, we're like, when is that going to when is that going to happen? Um, okay, so we have one more bottle to get to tonight. Unless we want to do a, a viewer choice. Do we want to do a viewer choice? Do we have two options? I mean, I can grab something. Yeah, I'll grab something. All right. Well, Jules is getting his... Uh, I just won't even fit on the shelves oh, down man. here. Oh, wow. You really... That laptop's really crapped out. Oh, did the, the Wi-Fi die? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at the Wi-Fi's reset. Oh, yeah. So it's blinking. Good thing that uh, right. I got a landline. It's here. dead. So, okay. Okay. All right. So, what we got is some scotch stuff we have not opened yet. And Old I'll, grab, Putney. I'll grab one of these bottles. And this thing, I think you can get for like 45, 55 bucks. Uh, I don't know which one of these to grab, dude. Mm. I'll just grab one randomly. Uh, and this is a resilient. Unless Dylan says we can't open this resilient, <laughs> we'll let him. We'll let him. Uh, yeah, we'll give him some time to reply. Because <laughs> there's a there's we like might th have something else planned. There's three of these resilient sixteen year olds over there, and uh, we will. Uh, Pultney is that how you pronounce it? Pultney. 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 So we've got an old Pultney twelve. Um, this is a. I don't know where the, what the region is, what region it is. But it is a 40% 12-year-old Scotch American oak aged. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's about all I know. No no research on these, obviously. Yeah, we did not. Ha we They're haven't just done sitting, any research so, yet. They uh, were sitting un unopened. This is probably something from Dylan. Uh, okay, and then we got resilient. As, as long as Dylan says it's okay. Actually, we don't care. Uh, it's a 16-year-old straight bourbon whiskey. It is, I believe it's Dickel. Because it is Tennessee, and it is this the eighty four percent corn mash bill, which I, I'm pretty sure that's like the uh, Dickel uh, mash oh, bill. It is, I think, a single barrel, number four char, hundred and four point six proof. So, mm. oh Highland, somebody said so. The old Pulteney. old Pulteney. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I've, I think I've tried one of these in the past. But I don't. It's not in my memory. So, does it say on the box? Where'd you put the box? Right here. Does it say if it's a Highland? No, it didn't. That's what I was looking for. Oh. So I'm sure it just gives this whole background on uh, Sir William Pulteney. Put Wick on the map. All right. TD says it is uh, Hamon Iberico on any of your radars? Figured I'd ask since you're exceptional enthusiasts and not average appreciators. 
Thanks. Uh, Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> that was a Sherry and Hamon Iberico. I mean, I, I love that stuff. I mean, I, I love... Don't get the nice... Hamon Iberico from Costco, though. Uh, so well, speaking of Costco, because my dad <laughs> picked that up for the like, Christmas holiday, and oh my God, it was it was terrible. I mean, don't get me wrong. Actually, it was still the meat was good, but there were like so many layers of like the wax that we had to cut through. <laughs> And it was hilarious because my dad didn't know how to cut it at first. And they give you like this nice presentation and then like with a specialty knife that you can use to cut it down. And they, the first bite he took was with the wax. It was like, this is terrible. I'm like, dad, you, you ate the wax. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I love uh, it. But it's just the reason not to get it is because, dude, you could seriously feed an army with that thing. It's so freaking huge. You need to do it for know? a party. Yeah, yeah. you got to do it for a party. We were only doing it because of, you know, COVID lockdown, it was only like a small, it was just us, immediate family. So no more than like seven members, but it was not enough for us, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I love any kind of charcuterie, any kind of aged meat is always awesome. Oh yeah. I mean, and especially a, a really nice ham like that is just charcuterie. It'd be a lot of fun. All right, so uh, Dylan has not responded as to whether or not we can open up the Resilient. We've seen a few comments here on the old Pulteney, so maybe we'll do that. What do you, what do you think? Sounds good. I have no access to the comments, so <laughs> sure. Oh, is the Wi-Fi still down? Yeah, yeah it is. Wow. It's dead. Weird. Yeah, it's not surprising. I mean, that's this is curiosity in public, man. I mean, you know, <laughs> pure, pure, pure we usually have an internet course. go down live. Yeah, funny. Okay, so oh, I'm really glad is. I ran the wired connection. I know. Well. <laughs> Seriously. Because, <laughs> yeah, stream would be over yeah. if, uh, if not. I think we're going to need to get a router or something wire everything. Uh, all right, Fred has a question here. Had to pop out. How did the very old Barton fare it one? Dude, you missed it. Dutch was sweating, but he did. He was able to pick it up. I did a blind. Among the three. So I did mix up all three. And we knew like one of them just from the nose alone would stand out. Um, so he'd be able to pick out between the two. But uh, he did pick uh, the Barton in the end. So yeah, it's he's a I, professional, Fred. Should have known. It's mostly, I mean, I think it's the proof has a lot to do with it. Do with yeah. it, but um, do with it, do with it. So yeah, you'll have to catch that on the replay there. Yes, it's Curiosity Public, not IT support, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The heat wave. And we are there, terrible at IT support. The heat so. wave killed your Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the funny thing is, is San Diego is not that bad. With yeah, the just wave. the studio. <laughs> just, just, there's like a weird thing going just on. Just right our here, studio, but, guys. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so uh, we had a couple people talk about the old pulley, so let's crack into it. We'll, we'll save the uh, resilient for maybe a final pour or next time. But we're switching gears here to some scotch. I need to clean scotch. out a glass. I got to clean my glass. And uh, like switching gears here at the end. Now, unfortunately, we can't give a bottle close up because without the Wi-Fi, we can't get the B oh, camera. I guess on. I could try to get if I this close something. No, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Like, Sorry, guys. But oh yeah, yeah. So twelve years 12 old, years. forty percent low proof. Is comes in a nice like. box. Comes in a nice box. Twelve years made by the sea. It keeps it says that everywhere. Yeah. So I wonder if we're gonna get a good. Uh, Saltiness to this maritime malt since 1826. Wow! All right. Mm. Okay. You get the salty brine in the air. Salty brine in the air. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that is uh, <laughs> yeah a salty briny dram right there. Well, that's it for a second. Out, yeah. Oh my God. Wow. I gotta make sure I label this because I might get it mixed up. It's almost like you're at the uh, the fish market. <laughs> Holy moly, dude! Seriously. Yeah. So we have another. Wow. We have like a. I think we've got a Lafroy. I should have grabbed that. There's a Lafroy 16. I think that's unopened. Ooh. That would have been. Still, we'll get really mad if we open that. But. Yeah. I figured this was one of the ones at the uh, end of the shelf. Whoa. Did you just? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Worse than Dutch yeah. over here. Folks. Worse than me with the spillage. All right, guys. Uh, cheers to uh, a uh, final pour here, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll go a little longer. It's only been an hour. Really? Yeah, yeah we drink a lot. Flying by. Yeah, so we'll, maybe we'll grab that Lafroy since we're in the scotch mode. Um, but you guys let us know if there's something that uh, you think we should crack into. If we happen to have it here on the big shelf of uncracked. 
Actually, most of those have been cracked now. No. No? We have like two shelves worth that have not been cracked. Dude. You're only looking at like the top one and like the middle. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, we will also we'll try to announce the next live as soon as we can. Like I said, I think in what is it, two weeks? Yeah, more I think probably in two weeks. Uh, Dylan might know if he's still in the chat. I think this was last minute only because Dutch, you know, was a Costco fiend and was able to get the uh, Kirkland. I think in two weeks we'll be doing uh, probably another Friday live with the whole Back crew. To Friday. Um, Although I don't know, man, this Monday seems to be working out. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you guys, if people are chilling you out, someone on Monday, to drink with, join us on a Monday. Yeah, I normally don't drink on Monday, so that's why this is a first. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, very briny. Mm -hmm. I have to highlight this comment because it's just too I good. I just went in. Do or do not. Do yes. Right, yes. Pull oh, out from the frog. It's right here. You know, that was the one thing I was doing this weekend. I was like, catching up on some uh, Clone Wars. Oh, nice. Are you yeah. are you rewatching? Mostly your, because did you, you ever finish it? I did finish it, oh, but it was just uh, I'm rewatching a bunch just because of uh, with Bad Batch. So it's like, oh yeah, I wanted to see when they re when they introduced them originally in the Clone Wars. And yeah, stuff. those are so great it's like, episodes. It's so good. They're so That's where, like, tied together. Clone Wars so became good. elevated at that point. Like, but it was like third, fourth season, or something like that. It just got so good. You know, it's funny. I think I might like it more than even the original trilogy. I mean, I mean Empire. It's so Empire much better than the prequels. Is so good. Oh, it's absolutely. So much prequels, prequels don't even matter in this discussion. But, like, Empire's up there. But, man, I think this might even beat out, like, Return. I don't, know. I don't think I could go there, but uh, it's really good. Oh, man. It's I, so well It's so. I kind of wish well that they had done. just done, redone the prequels yeah, with like even with animated Filoni, like Filoni directing yeah. it all and yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so good. well we'll see what happens because uh you know he's taking charge and they're saying that uh what's his face John from, Favreau John Favreau might replace Kathleen Kennedy now so yeah big news man it's gonna be careful Star Wars world might become a Star Wars <laughs> <laughs> gossip channel pretty quickly if you well, so. they can tell from the items in the back shelf you can't even <laughs> see that oh actually uh, because <laughs> because poop emoji is so uh, dominant you can see the uh, R2 there you go. And the Stormtrooper. What do you mean? Hoth right there, Hoth. man. Well, he -Man. Come on. He -Man. Yeah, He-Man, you know. <laughs> Y-Wing. Um, oh, yeah, there's a Y-Wing. Oh, and there's Boba Fett and Luke. Oh, yeah, I couldn't tell. Oh, Star yeah. Wars fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Oh, hilarious. Uh, yeah. uh, good Only question. I can see the comments right From uh, Amy, we have not tried the Russell's 13. Uh, I right. have not seen it anywhere. I don't know if it's hit the West Coast yet where we are. So mm -hmm. looking for it. That's it. Sounds awesome. Thirteen-year-old high-proof bourbon that is not priced crazy. How much? Uh, I think it's like in the sixty buck. Oh, I don't know. Somebody maybe can call me on that. I don't know. Funny thing was, is this morning I went to go get this bottle of seventeen ninety-two for the blind we did, and I stopped in a like a CVS, and they had the Russell's Reserve ten-year for forty forty-three dollars or something like mm. that. So. I, mean, I appreciate the price on that stuff. So, so uh, but yeah, if anybody already has a bottle, that uh, uh, curious what the price is on that. So, no. but yeah, I, I have not seen it out here yet. As soon as it, as soon as we get our hands on it, we'll definitely try to do something with it because that's. Uh, I think people are saying, could it be the Elijah Craig Bell Proof Killer? I don't know. Nah. We'll, see. well, at that price point, again, I don't, I don't, I can't remember the price point, but the mm. uh, seventy bucks is the lowest. So Godzilla says, oh. Just hit Massachusetts, 70 bucks as low as I've seen. So, again, that's about oh, so what that's you pay. That's about for Elijah. For Elijah yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Eric says Clone Wars over Rebels over Bad Batch. So far, yes, I would agree. Well, we haven't. I mean, but Bad I, Batch hasn't fully come I know. Out yet, I know. So and I, I really know if I could uh, enjoyed, agree just yet. I really liked Rebels. I would Rebels. agree. I would actually say it was you, good. I would yeah. say I definitely agree. If you remove the first maybe two seasons of Clone Wars, then definitely. Because I just it got so much better towards the end. True. I, I don't know. I like the, actually the first two. I, I like mean, it everyone's too, complaining but... about Ahsoka, but it's like she's no, awesome, she's man. Great. In the first two, you understand what she's there for. Yeah. Right. Because then you really feel for just knowing that yeah. Anakin. So far, the problem I've had with Bad Batch is it feels too much like Mandalorian. Oh yeah. Where it's just like, that. what happened? It's, it's character that. building, which can be kind of tedious. And draw it out. It's okay. I'm going to give it a chance. Yeah. I'm going to give it a chance. Okay. So back to, back to whiskey, guys. <laughs> Let's talk Old Pulteney. Uh, been nosing this for a minute here. I already started drinking. Super briny. 
Yeah, really briny. It's quite an enjoyable nose, though, I think. Yeah. I'm at the sea again. Like I mentioned, I'm at the fish market. That's very mellow. Yeah, I know. That's what's saying. The, the palate wow. is not as briny as the nose. It's smoky, yep. peaty. It's um, more rich. I'm actually even getting like savory. It's notes, a good mouthfeel. You know? It's yeah. like it's, but for being 40 proof, it's yeah. got a lot of flavor, man. Wow. Yeah. You know what's nice is like the smokiness isn't overpowering. It's just no, there, it's you know, really just to nice. like remind you. Yeah. It's really wow. good. Okay. I got to go back into that. Oh, uh, thanks, community, for picking yeah, up. Old good Pitney. suggestion, guys. So here's a good qu uh, question from Caleb What happened in the blind? So there are actually Recap. two blinds. The first blind between the, uh, oh, the Kirkland. It. And the uh, 1792, we both picked the 1792 as our favorite. Even though we described two different things. <laughs> yeah, we were describing different things, and we thought we had picked different things. But we did pick the favorite, and we, the favorite ended up being 1792. And then when we threw in the Barton, Burial Barton 100 right. proof. And Dutch did this one. He again, this is my challenge. We should point out the, the bottled right. and bond version of this, right. which apparently doesn't exist anymore. I didn't know that. Uh, this was the clear winner, and then I did a blind between these three. All three. The jewel set up for me, and I did pick the Barton. And then the runner-up was the 1792, and I was able to dismiss this one pretty clearly as the yeah, weakest of the three. So. Just from the nose. I mean, just you from know, but, two. You know, if you're factoring in price, then, I mean, this is obviously the winner. You're at 100 proof, and it's cheaper than both of these. If you Gr can find it. Granted. Granted, you're finding it online, at least here in the And this West is a leader. Coast. But you are getting this for a liter, twenty bucks. But twenty on bucks, average. but fifteen bucks for a seven fifty. That kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, no, it does. But at the same time, like if I only want to do one stop shopping, you know, I'm getting Clorox wipes and toilet paper. I see the value. Me too. I see the value, but it didn't. It's not better than. There was a great question posed to us though. At what price? Like, would you go as high as? For me, it's not the question of price. It's the question of how am I going to be using it. Mm. You know, this is Good what point. I'm going to buy if I'm if I'm making a batch of cocktails that need bourbon cocktails and then maybe someone who's interested in bourbon give them notes. yeah if you're newer to bourbon or maybe if you drink most of your bourbon in old fashions or on the rocks yeah you probably enjoy that but if you're really into tasting bourbon the way we are and you knows it and you really want to get the experience it's not going to be super exciting for you that's the way i would put it so there you go another recap um I think the Wi-Fi is back on if you want to try to yeah. connect. We can, do a, we can do a close-up of the uh, that would be nice. of the bottle. Yeah, Wi-Fi looks like it's back. Uh, so Ben says, yeah, old Pulton A12 is salty pears. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Nice sweetness to the, to that. So some people here posting their Russell's 10 prices at $31.99 Whoa. in Connecticut. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Connecticut, eh? Uh, yeah, oh, another comment from Fred. Sometimes Russell's ten is thirty bucks. I've yeah, I've never seen it that low out here. That's pretty awesome. Twenty five to knife, ten years, thirty nine ninety nine here. So okay, around forty. That seems about where I tend to see it. So uh, Peter B says I hear Russell's thirteen is sixty nine ninety nine MSRP. Ernie says it's sixty nine in Virginia for the Russell's thirteen. Um, somebody else posted a. Price point on it, I think. Did I just miss it? I don't know. Uh, okay, question from Fred. Have you guys tried Ed Rao Edredor? I have not, but Dylan just posted that he has had the Edredor 21 all around. 21, right? Uh, have you had that? Let's mute this Enter studio. No, I have not had it. All right. Oh, look at that. Our B cam is back. Now you can see the, uh, the all old All right, company. so we can show some. Can you switch to it? Yep. Cool. There's the bottle we're drinking right now. Look at that. Technology back. Woohoo. IT issues. That's solved. pretty awesome. It just recovered by itself. That's the magic of the, uh, what is that stuff? Ubiquity? Ubiquity. Ubiquity. The mesh just comes back network. online. But my comments haven't loaded. So I'll switch to this one. Yeah, I, I like this stuff. This old pulp me. This is, this is a, you know, this is actually not a bad way to introduce somebody to scotch. To, to like smoky peaty scotch because the smoke is like it's it's there but i feel like it's barely there it's not imposing it's bigger on the you nose you get enough of it yeah it's bigger on the nose than the palate it almost doesn't read on the palate yeah exactly it's just a hint of it on the palate <laughs> <laughs> David little where's the golden <laughs> 
He's got the knife. Uh, I got the knife. I got the knife. Uh, yeah, he's in the chat. Dylan is in he the is chat. He is in the chat. <laughs> he's not here. Because <laughs> he's at home watching The Golden Child. Exactly. The best part is when he's singing on the plane. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. I think this would be a great intro. A great intro. Intro gateway. It's very scotch. approachable. Yeah. Like, if you're not into scotch, but you're into bourbon. And I feel like not too crazy of a price, right? I want to say this is like in the $50 range. Well, now that you have internet. You I know. Now that I can actually look it up. Yeah. Total Wines got it for 40 bucks right now. $38.99. Yeah. I so mean, that, that makes sense. Yeah. that's a, I mean, it doesn't look like it's got any... Coloring either. It's a very nice light color. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Fred says, Dylan, what do you think? I've got a 11, 12 year Oloroso and quite like it. So I think they're talking about the, uh, what was it? Ed, Ed, Eduardo? I keep wanting to say Eduardo. 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 So we'll see if Dylan chimes in. All right, Ben says in uh, Hawaii, Russell's 10 is 35 to 40. Nice. Wow. Grab. Alex says, love watching you guys. Cheers, oh, man. Thanks, Thank Alex. We appreciate you coming into the chat. Especially on out. a Monday night, dude. This is a first for us. Oh, yeah. It could be a first of many. I don't know. Maybe. It I seems mean, like yeah. there's a lot more people interested lot, today. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, nobody's doing anything. Or is it because of Kirkland? Yet. Maybe because and this was a hard Monday, man. Again, I had mentioned earlier, yeah. like this was tough to get through today. I was really looking forward to tonight. So here's a good question from Jeff. Uh, I keep saying question. Good Jeff. comment. Uh, someone tried to introduce me to Isla through Ardbeg a few years back. Bad mm. idea. Yeah, that's kind of really like bad idea. I mean, jumping into like, the deep end. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like literally, I'm in a ball of fire. <laughs> yeah, because you're drinking a ball of fire, dude. You would need to be able to drink this and be very accustomed to something like this yeah. before jumping to like. Ardbeg or, or even Lafroig or any of the really PD. I mean, I'd say even Highland Park is Agreed. challenging. Totally agree. I mean, this is that's why this is a great intro, man. I yeah, mean, you're only getting mostly on the nose and you know mm -hmm. a lot of that PD smokiness, and then on the palate, it's just, it's just enough, hit. just yeah, enough to yeah. This is yeah. to tell you what kind of profile it is, but yeah. All right, mischievous misanthrope says with the Destro. Is that Destro? Did we have this? comment before i think we did i think we at it least like mentioned destro it. that's yeah uh have you guys tried any light whiskeys we've had the uh obtaining obtainium light that's the only one i think that's the only one i've had i think it's the only one i've had as well uh yeah we did that on a live a couple weeks back maybe last month sometime and that um, was good really tasty i stuff. remember I, I really enjoyed yeah. that and we did film a little short of dylan tasting it for the first time oh yeah that's right and he thought it was low proof <laughs> Uh, uh, leave it to that Dylan guy. Uh, so Dylan is responding to the uh, er Eredor. Why can't I not say the name of this? Edredor. Edredor. Uh, he thought it was good, but he has a small spot. Small Soft spot. <laughs> Soft spot for small distillery operations. <laughs> small spot. He does have a small spot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Justin, you know, because just, Dylan's always like the hipster. Man. Yeah, he he's always you know trying to go buck the trend. He's not into pop music. <laughs> just, he is. But. Justin says, "If you all tried any obtaining light whiskey, yeah, we were just talking about that. Is it worth the hype? Um, you know, what is that like 60, 70 bucks? It's really unique. I think it is. It's I really, think it's worth the hype. I, do too. I think it's worth the hype and then some. It's a cool thing. I mean, I, I, yeah. I it's really high proof. You get a very different. Uh, it's like a very different approach to whiskey, especially if you're coming from drinking bourbon or." Right. I just remember when we first tried it, the best way I could describe it is like, you have to try this because it's such a different experience. Yeah. You I mean, don't the taste the proof. You don't taste the proof at all. Yeah. It's, I was not expecting it. Is it is deadly. <laughs> like, oh, you can totally deadly. wreck yourself on that stuff. Yeah. You're not careful. And I'm following up Tanium here on out, though, man. Because, oh, yeah. Dude, it's great mean, stuff. That guy's got, he's a master taster. Yeah. Amy says, Dylan blinded up Tanium and thought it was low proof. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I poured it for him. Oh, well, he knew what it was. Yeah, so it really he, wasn't a true blind. But he tasted it. Yeah, it, 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 I think the, there's a short on our YouTube channel somewhere of him tasting it. And it's, uh, yeah. Oh, is that how we really start? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, David Little says, you guys are the first bourbon channel I watched. Now I'm hooked on a bunch of them. Not sure whether or not to say thanks. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Uh, it, hey, it's a great community you, out here. Dude. Appreciate yeah, you. you watching us. Um, 
there's, I think even wow. the Shelf Turds is another good channel you guys should check out. They're actually, I think they're live at the same time. Oh, they are. Even though we have a turd on our show. I think too. we're claiming that we inspired them for the, the name of their channel even just because we got the poop emoji. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a great community. There's some really, really awesome channels out there. We like to they're watch pretty a lot funny, of them. man. Kira, David, they're pretty funny, dude. Oh, yeah. Shelters are great. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully you're finding some channels that you like. Hopefully you find us entertaining. Yeah. I would. I wouldn't either. <laughs> and we're not even drinking bourbon right now. We're drinking I scotch. know. We're drinking scotch. And sometimes we're drinking tequila us? and rum. And I know. Yeah, it's this, weird. This is but the oddball uh, channel in the whiskey tube realm. I know. We're, I think we're being pushed out of whiskey tube officially because we're doing too much rum and tequila. And people are like, you guys are. Oh, uh, is that why we weren't invited to Mad Madness? <laughs> that gets them every time. <laughs> Tell no, you, man. It's because there's Dutch was hurt. Dude. There's three, Dutch was hurt. Bro, there's three, three of you us. know ADHD whiskey. One of our favorites. Favorites. Probably Dutch, our favorite. Du oh man, <laughs> Dutch was personally. Hurt. But we did get into the old Charter blending competition that he True. did, and uh, we did film our With, uh, uh, Bourbon Junkies because we're on uh, we're on Team, team Dan. Dan. So that should be coming out in a couple months, which is controversial in and of itself because uh, I would say Dylan would be an interesting uh, sparring partner for Dan. I don't think the two of them could be in the same room. Me too. <laughs> it's like egos, but I would love to see collide. that happen. Yeah, seriously. It's like literally the big bang. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dylan says here, yeah, no joke. Obtaining tasted really low proof. Yeah. It, yeah, it definitely tastes it's so low what it is. It's, yeah. But yeah. It will kill you at the end of the night, which is why it's great. That's why it was such a unique experience. Jeff's got a good question. How many people have been watching from the Bourbon Guild day? That's right. Ooh. The old school channel. I don't think we have a way to uh, analyze that, right? Well, I, I think he's, he's just asking if anybody in the chat is. Oh, I thought he was asking <laughs> like analytics. <laughs> I think uh, at least I would think probably right? about at least half of our subscribers, if not maybe a third. Because awesome, if we not were third, not, yeah, I mean, you know, all were fans of the old channel. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of people, yeah, yeah. Mark says he's come. He came from oh, the. Oh, thank days. you, Mark. Appreciate it. Thanks and for don't watching. forget that Ben's got a channel yep. called The Butcher's Block. Butcher's Block. You should check out. He's doing some reviews of whiskey on there. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Casper says, astute viewer of The Butcher of Vegas. <laughs> there here. you go. Right on. Yeah, so I think a lot. I think most people probably remember the BG the BG days. Yeah, those were the days. With the green screen. <laughs> no, it wasn't a green screen. And that's always we, a we challenge were... to basically, always... what background are we using this week? Yeah. That actually became tedious towards the end. Yeah, like I have to find a new picture. Yeah. Yeah. So that's fun. Okay. So are we going to, Oh, here's another good comment on that. Uh, I'm here from the bourbon guild days. Probably most of my first whiskey tube content watch. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That was back in like the, the dark ages of, of whiskey tube when there was only like, there was only less five, than a handful, dude, less than five a handful, to 10 channels, channels legit channels, putting yeah. regular content, out, edited yeah. content out, I would right. say. Um, I mean, it's amazing to see the landscape now. Yeah, I feel like every week something pops up in my feed of a new channel that's just starting out, and it's They're great, man. Uh, it's really cool to see. It's almost hard to keep up with. It's it's impossible, I think now. But um, you know, I'm always looking. I like to see what people have to say about stuff. No. All right, so um, I think we had enough people say that we should do the Lafroy. That maybe we should crack into that Lafroy. Dylan, should we do the Lafroy? I guess we're doing it. Or Sorry, should we do this? Dylan. Should we do a bourbon? Should we do the 16 year old Ooh. resilient? I am curious about that. We'll put this up here, and I'll grab the Lafroy, and we'll see what people say. Oof. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this bottle. We have to ask Dylan if we can do this. So what is this proof? Hey, Dylan, if you're still in the chat, let us know. 104.6 proof. Can we do the Lafroy 16? Again, this is we're, like are you these sure are that's not open yet. Yeah, I feel like Dylan not, would have opened this. That's why I was there. surprised too. Seriously, it's unopened. Oh wow, unopened. I just literature. lost the literature. So yeah, a couple options here. Drink Dylan's stag since he's not there. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we like to do on the lives, especially <laughs> when he doesn't show up. Oh wow. Okay. You know what's funny is I think he lives the closest one to the set than any of us. <laughs> and he does he's not show over there. He's like literally downstairs. <laughs> he's in his office doing work. Uh, oh yeah, I think we're getting some Lafroy 16. All right, Michael Jonas says, Cheers, guys. Quickly chiming in from my honeymoon in Disney. Nice. I nice. got the Bourbon King shirt in the middle. Great. Awesome, Michael. 
Glad it made it there. There was a weird snafu at the post office. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't think I told you guys about this. Like the guy, I handed all the packages to the post office guy. Yeah. And he printed out the labels, but there's a couple of them where he printed out the label and he put it on the wrong package. Oh, you so did one not person's that. shirt got sent to somebody else, and they're like, "Wait, I got a shirt with somebody else's name on it." Oh like, no! What a disaster! So hopefully everybody got their stuff. <sighs> but uh, are you at the Florida Disney or the uh, California? Or the California Disney. Disney. Yeah, you might sounds like in our backyard. That sounds like fun. Cheers to you. Yeah, Lana says Dylan would want that Lafroy like sixteen to open up. I agree. True. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm actually surprised he hasn't opened it. That's why. <laughs> yeah, Michael says I need to try old Pulling here as a salt flavor. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I, I mean, it's really. But it's mostly in the palate. It's it's not that briny, salty in the. No, um, or, I, I'm sorry. I'm the, mostly on the nose. Yeah, mostly on the nose. Not, not on the palate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a hint of it on the palate. It's just a very approachable palate. It's a nice sweetness. Good there's amount so of smoke. much sweetness though yeah. in this, dude. Very approachable, especially for bourbon drinkers. This is going to go on that list of like scotches for bourbon bourbon drinkers that are interested in dabbling in scotch, especially smoky scotch. Like this is, I mean that. And it's a great intro. Price. I almost tell people. I almost always think of like Glen Morangy, mm. but I think this is. I know, me too. I'm yeah, actually saying this, this is, is my better. this might be the go to. And I would say the nose could put you off. If well, it's if a new, great intro to it, but though, it's because it's like this is what you should be expecting in that profile. Yeah. And at the price point, dude, that's not bad, man. Oh, crap. Forty-five this bucks. Is the best comment of the night. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Mischievous misanthrope Destros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna read it out loud, but that's brilliant. Oh, genius. Yeah, you genius. know what? This is why we don't do a lot of lives because if when we oh my god, if we content, had if we actually had like an HR manager <laughs> slash <laughs> all the stuff that gets bleeped seriously, dude. <laughs> A lot of the time, it's stuff like that. It's stuff that's just we're that's saying. That's exactly it. what we would say, though, dude. <laughs> Cheers to you, yeah, that man. Would have that's bleeped. exactly what we would say. <laughs> so good. All right. Amy says, I need to find a scotch that doesn't taste like scotch. Yeah, it's... Uh, dude, Amy. Seriously. It's really sweet. I mean, it's, this... It, you get enough of the scotch profile, but this will not, you know, you're not... It's not a smoke bomb. Yeah, if you don't like the smoky side of scotch, this is... This is a great gateway, like though, it. dude. This is really well. Good. I would say, okay, actually, I would say if you're a, more of a, a strict bourbon drinker, I actually think the Abalora Buna mm. might be better because it's it reads more like the bourbon flavor profile than this Sweet. would. This this is a Scotch flavor profile, but right. it's very approachable. Savory, one, I think. more on the savory side. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, thank you guys, Bourbon Collect. What? Bourbon Collect. Chat. Who did thank the you. production on Bourbon Guild? Got to say, CP is a piece of. Uh, well, you're looking at the production team. Um, this is pre-production. I was basically uh, gaffer boy number one. <laughs> he was the fluffer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we uh, we, we were tried. The, we were the we tried, group. guys. We tried. Yeah, I did all the posts. Uh, I will say though, in between, you know, when we ended, I did take a couple of editing courses or one editing course to kind of just get better at it. I don't know that I'm that much better. I was gonna say it doesn't show it. It doesn't really show that much, but <laughs> I'm I've, just uh, kidding. You know, it's a hobby, man. I don't have a lot of time to put into this, but I, I've I've tried to step I it up. I feel like I like the music more though. I the music has changed, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm still working on the music channel. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually set it up. It's actually a, a legitimate channel now. What? Finally, I don't have any dude. content. I've been on waiting, here. man. I've been telling one, this guy uh, I want to see a whole album from him. I put one but. bottle. One bottle. I put one uh, one track. I've been trying to do like a visualizer for like the music. Oh, to have something yeah. visual with it. That'd be cool. So I've got one that's a test. So maybe I'll show that in the next live. But hey, thank you guys, Bourbon Collect. Thank you. You want to talk about good video production? These guys are incredible. True. Uh, they've been doing <laughs> stuff insane. for They're Eureka. I mean, anything they post looks a million times better than anything we can do. <laughs> it's just, it's not even funny how bad. <laughs> Our stuff looks compared to their their footage. So, <laughs> cheers, guys! Thank you, uh, Michael Jonas, Florida Disney, and the nice. 2020 old rip I had for the after party 100% got killed, but didn't disappoint. Yeah, that sounds awesome. That is, hey, that's the time to kill the bottle, man. That's fantastic. Dude, hats off to you at Florida Disney right now, man. Because isn't it humid like crazy? Ooh, yeah. Hopefully, it's like you're, hurricane weather. Hopefully, bro. you're in the air conditioning right now. Oh yeah. And actually, I don't know. Does uh, actually, I don't know. If Disney Florida has the uh, select, like they do in California, like the Knob Creek. Oh, the barrel picks. The yeah, barrel picks. hey, check out the various bars, man. Yeah, let us know. Actually, that'd be cool to know uh, because California, California does. So, 
a uh, couple different barrel picks. Yeah, there's a Knob Creek barrel pick that you can get at uh, California Adventure in the restaurant. Um, no, no, at the bar at the. Oh, Grand the bar at the Grand Californian. Sorry. And then there's another one at Carthay Circle. Did they have a pick? Is that Knob Creek? They might have a pick, but then the the. The other restaurant, the uh, Napa Rose. Oh, the, that's the other one. Yeah, they have yeah, a yeah, Blanton. Yeah. yeah, Blanton's. That's what it is. Or as Dylan would say, a Blanton. Blanton. Uh, Bourbon Collect says, totally agree on Abuna for bourbon drinkers. Yeah, I think that's a, a very approachable nice. one. Um, okay. So since Dylan has not chimed in, and I think more people said we should crack into the Lafroig 16, as opposed to the 16-year-old Dickel, <laughs> we're going to skip the Dickel and go to the Lafroig. Keep things in a scotch mood. And I am going to... I think I need a new glass. Yeah, can you grab me one? Yeah. Grab a green glass, and then we'll know that's the green for the Lafroy. Go. What, are you Irish or something? I do I do think I have some Irish. I feel like everyone thinks they're Irish. You lived in Ireland, man. You I did. That's Irish. why I claim I'm Irish. <laughs> uh, Eric confirmed, uh, yes. Knob Creek and Blanton's. Yeah, I think the... Uh, uh, they're, the Blanton's pick they had mm. was actually really nice. I remember I liked it. At least the one I had. And it was so cool that they actually had a pick, though, man. And it was, was not shocked. very expensive. No. It was like yeah. 12 shot clock. 12 yeah, bucks, shot, 15 yeah. bucks. Maybe 15. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, no. Did you lose Wi Fi again? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's working. Okay. Well, maybe it just refreshed on its own or something. <laughs> so Amy says, uh, "Try to learn with the Scotch. Ha have the uh, I guess the Glenfiddich 14. Mm -hmm. I gotta find the other comment. Glenfiddich or that could be Farkless. Glen Farkless. Um, I think I might like peated, so I'm looking to try that next. Yeah. Uh, Highland Park is maybe. Well, yeah, if you want to get to the. If peated you want to talk bomb, about peat, I mean, yeah. that's well, bomb. Highland talk 15 about peat. too. Why don't you show the bottle? Oh yeah. Forgot we can do the close-ups here. If the if the Wi-Fi is working, wow, that is not looking good. Uh oh, are we getting some crazy that, lag? I won't move as much. Okay, there we go. That's looking a little better. Ah, oh, what is wrong with it? Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good now. Cool. It's okay. <laughs> so enough with the uh, streamyard uh, switching here. So. So Lafroy, I am not super familiar with all the Lafroy offerings. I know I've had the the ten and the ten year cask, but I have not. Wow, that was a tight cork. Wow, <laughs> I don't know if you yeah. guys can hear that. But I, I, I'm not, I'm not into the super super peaty stuff. You know, I like Highland Park is pretty much as uh, I like it on occasion. As far as well, maybe even the Ardbeg, Ardbeg Scorch, man. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Well, and I Dylan has the committee release. So right. I know both of those will be in the uh, – oh, my gosh, this is Petey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, oh, about, like, my God. Ramping it up from, from the old Pulteney to the uh, Lafroy. I mean, like, that is like night and day. Yeah. That's why, I mean, I think – or the Arbor has uh, Dutch Vengeance. All right. LJ in LA says, I find my whiskey Ooh. collection at home is getting better. I have a harder – oh, sorry. As my whiskey collection at home is getting better, I have a harder time ordering inferior stuff in restaurants and bars. Yes, completely agree. Uh, it's true, only because, you know, I've noticed – well, I was going to say I noticed lately, but I feel like before the lockdown and stuff, I had noticed I was going towards more cocktails ordering at restaurants versus actual getting something neat. I think the last time I got something neat was probably like in Vegas. Yeah. but Actually, that's I got the, the that Buna uh, right. the Black Art. Black, yeah, that's yeah. right. So – I think it yeah it depends on where you are. A lot of the times I try to find something that I think will just be nice to sip on with whatever I'm eating at a restaurant. A bar is a different deal though because if I'm yeah, focusing on bar, it, that's uh, really hard. I usually, the prices though because with the prices right that's now, what I usually I mean, try to find like what's the yeah. best bang for the buck. Yeah, you know, yeah, or if there's something that, that, that I haven't had and it's right. priced or reasonably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So sometimes it's just a chance to like explore new things. Ooh, yeah, let this open up, man. <laughs> but it's really good, actually. It's, I mean, I want some. I'm ready for some barbecue. <laughs> Eric says the show is on the verge of coming off the rails, but you guys recovered. Disappointed. <laughs> Just wait. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just wait. 
We're only I feel like, like that's uh, how we always we're only an hour we're and a half. Always in. on the verge of going off the rails, or maybe we always everything the about this channels <laughs> off the rails. Radio. Wow, digging in. Wow, that nose is just powerful, bro. I mean, I kind of want to compare it to the ten, but mm. I don't think that would be wise. You know, it doesn't. It's not. It's not. I don't feel like it's as overwhelming as the ten cast. Ninety six proof. It's almost like the age mellows it a little bit. Oh my god! But it's, it's nice. like it's so savory. Yeah. It's really savory, Pete. Man, I mean, this is literally. I'm in front. I'm like smoking brisket right now. Woo! Yeah, but there's that that earthy yeah earthiness of the like peat a moss is so thing. nice. Oh man. <laughs> I was watching something over the weekend where the people they were harvesting the peat. They were showing people doing that. Oh, and it's just it's such a fascinating thing. It's like basically I haven't I haven't looked that up yet. What all that? Uh, entails. Well, basically it was like it's a it was a fuel source, right? You could burn it right. to to dry the, right. the, mash. the mash, and they, yeah. it was what was available, and it just added this huge flavor. Hmm. Whereas places where there wasn't a lot of peat, they would just use other sources for the fuel. So that's why there's peated and unpeated, but you still get the smokiness. Oh. You're using smoke to dry the mash. But it, whether it's peated smoke or non-peated smoke can make a difference, and wow. some places will do it differently completely. So, yeah, scotch is. See, I learn everything from Dutch, dude. I just mix, <laughs> mix stuff up. Just Give me the Cliff's notes, dude. Yeah. I just say it like I know what I'm talking about. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> all right, so Dylan says, drink the Anoa Lafroy 12 cask and Lagavulin 12 cask for fun. I think we only have the Lafroy 10 cask here. And I see the, the Lagavulin. I see the Lagavulin yeah. 12. We just reviewed that. Well, not just. We reviewed it no, a yeah. while back, but <laughs> it hasn't come out yet. Okay, let's check the palette on this Lafroy 16. Whoa. Hmm. That's evolving. Wow. Okay, so it keeps going. That's it. Like, that's I feel like, like that's a wow. That I feel a like the peak took a dip. Yes, and then it comes back up. And, yeah, and it evolves into a really different thing. <laughs> and is, it's weird. Like the dip, I can't even describe. Like I don't know how to describe it. But it feels like it stalls. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what did we mispronounce? Pronounce it. Anoa? Right. Anoch? Is what? that what you're talking about? And, oh, Anoa? I don't know. This is... <laughs> Good thing Dylan's not here. Exactly. <laughs> you can't see him rolling. The best part eyes. is, you know, someone, I remember, like, he was trying to pronounce something. Maybe it was something in Japanese, but, like, someone in the <laughs> chat <laughs> called him out. <laughs> awesome. Whatever, Dylan. The Lagavulin Offerman cask strength. Oh, Guinness cask finish. Did we try that one? Is that the one we have? Mm hmm. I don't remember a Guinness cask finish. That's the new one. I don't I, think we tried it. I don't know. I, I know we had the other one, the, uh, yeah, the 11. Yeah, we have the old one for sure. And he, he just did an emoji face of a palm. face palm. Classy. Fail. No, the only, the only face palm, like, Anyone should send is uh, Jean Luc Picard baseball. Yes, I agree. The double face bomb. Double is face. So here's a good question for by OP Dragon 19. How does it compare to uh, Lagavulin in 16? So that's one of your favorites, right? What would you uh, say? This is more intense. I was going to say this is a, a really different experience in terms of, uh, first of all, the peat is more intense. But on the palate, again, like what I had said earlier, like I feel like there's this weird dip in the, in the peatiness. Should we compare them? Do we have it here? Yeah. We, oh, we, we probably do. do have it right here. Maybe it sounds yeah, serious, though. But yeah, there was like a, di a dip in the penis that it just it takes you on this weird journey that I actually don't even know how to describe right now. It's so different, I think. Um, I feel like this is... Uh, so I did mention that it was savory, but um, maybe not as savory as the Lagavulin. Because I remember with the Lagavulin 16, though, the one thing I do enjoy, it's like you get like you want the barbecue, brisket, smokiness. Uh, when you're drinking it. This one, not so much. But yeah, again, like when I had it on the palate, I 
honestly don't even know how to describe it. It feels like the Pete was paused for a moment and they take you on this other journey and then it rolls back though. So when you get it back on the finish, all that. Oh, nice. So we do have it. Great success. Yeah. Okay. So we'll try it. Let's, Let's do it. I should get some glasses. Yeah. I'm going through a lot of glasses tonight, guys. And it, geez. we're supposed to keep it limited. And look what happens. They make us drink more, as usual. <laughs> In the name of science. We also do it to ourselves. In the name of science. So here we go. We'll actually be able to tell you the Comparo. Hmm. Cheers. We'll let that sit for a second. I don't know why yeah, I thought that. Open. Okay. So we'll see. Mark says, what's the music channel name? Oh, yeah. What's your music channel name? That's a good question. Let me see if I can find a link for it. it there's nothing on it yet. So. It's like Curiosity Public Music. No, I can't remember <laughs> if I spelled it. It's a. I don't think I can actually even get to it. 80, yeah, probably not if you're still logged in. Yeah. It will be called Future Magic, but it's spelled weird. Yeah. I will, With uh, a K instead of a C. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I, will, uh, I will link to it once I get something posted on it, which should be soon. So just... Uh, yeah, I think I still stick into what I had said earlier from what I remembered okay. with the Lafroy 16, at least on the uh, nose... Dude, the, the nose is way more savory to me of the uh, Lafroy over the Lagavulin. one. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lafroy is a little brighter to me. I get almost more richness in the Lagavulin. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. 86 proof. Yeah, what was it? Lafroy is uh, 96. Oh. So quite a bit higher. Interesting. All right, let's check the palette. Mm. Oh, it's so different. Mm -hmm. It's got, it's more earthy. And it's, it's, a, it's the same the whole way. See, I don't know if it's more earthy. They're both earthy. I just feel like it's a, I feel I do feel that the Lagavulin earthiness is brighter. You know, it's like a fresh cut of grass, dude. Compared to the, I would uh, describe Lafroy. the Lafroy as brighter flavor wise. Really, I would describe the Lagavulin as almost uh, richer. Definitely richer. I agree with you on richer. Different kinds of sweetness too. Like the Lafroy to me is like the cleaner sweet. This is the more molasses sweet. Honey, molasses. I'm getting a lot of. Uh, I'm actually getting a lot of honey on that one. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. So I think we missed some comments here. I don't know, man. Uh, good question here. What cask is the Lafroy 16 aged in? I'm guessing bourbon cask, but I don't actually know. When we do these lives, guys, by the way, we do no yes. homework. This is just cracking bottles open that we find on the show. Showing up on the day. Uh, X bourbon barrels. X bourbon. Yep, that's what it says here. 16 years. X bourbon. First fill X bourbon barrels aged for 16 years. Yep. Yeah, wild stallions. <laughs> huh? I missed that. <laughs> Had a small oh. future magic, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dylan says, now do the Lafroy cask versus Lagavulin cask. And we'll save that for when you're here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carlito, Classico. Dylan, you should go upstairs and join. <laughs> exactly, dude. He's just like downstairs, man. This guy. Okay, here's Dylan. Dylan says, please describe one, Pete, uh, smoke versus peat, two, fruit complement, and how the phenols enhance the sweetness. Okay, nose. I'll leave that to him, man. Phenols. <laughs> the nose, more peat on the Lafroy. Almost equal smokiness, I would say. 
you just get the brinier hit on the Laphroaig. Fruit yeah, Laphroaig compliment. is definitely saltier. I get more of like a grape on the Laphroaig. And I get more of a stewed peach, richer, more yeah, more apricot. reduced fruit on the Lagavulin. Uh, okay, how the phenols enhance the sweetness. I don't know what that means. I'm going to taste them though and see. <laughs> Wow. So the, the Lagavulin, I feel like the peat hits you on the second wave of the finish. Agreed. Like I was saying before, there's a weird stall that happens to for for the me Lef on the Lafroig. I'm talking about the Lagavulin, sorry. Oh, okay. I spoke, yeah. yeah, no, no. On the Lafroig, I, I, I'm, it's still happening to me where it's like I get uh, peat as soon as it touches my tongue, but then there's like a pause, and then I get the back end of it, and it's, it's amazing. It's peat up front. Yeah. Whereas I feel like the Lagavulin, you don't get it until – Later on, later, the definitely later, like a, more on the finish. So it's almost like the the smoke and the peat come in at different different points on the palate. Yeah. As far as the fruit, it, it kind of matches the uh, the nose. I get brighter fruits on the Freud and richer, kind of more more cooked fruit on the on the Lagavulin. Mm. That's how I would describe them. So, how the phenols enhance sweetness? Why don't you write a paper on that, and then we'll read it, and then we can. <laughs> Mr. Dillon drinking Jack Daniels. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> In my rejuvenation chamber, Lazarus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm drinking Jack while wearing my Jack shirt that Dutch gave me out. That's right. You guys know it. Oh, hey, thank you, Michael. What? Michael Jonas. Not a lot of, of time tonight, so signing off, guys. Cracking into a walking stick that I found here in Florida that we don't get in Rhode Island. Catch you guys next time. Nice. Awesome, man. Well, hey, if Thanks you saw by. our Barton blind, you'll know that my favorite of the bunch was the walking stick single the bottle. Walking stick. I don't know why. It's extremely drinkable. I'll, I'll give it high points on drinkability. Not the most complex thing you'll ever come across, but there's something about it that's quite enjoyable. So cheers, man, and congrats again, and hopefully you're having yeah, a good time in, right. uh, in Florida. Florida. All right. 25 to Knife asks, is Eagle Rare still Dylan's favorite bourbon under 40, or moved on to moved something on to else something. now? Dylan can answer that. I think he secretly still loves uh, Eagle Rare. but uh, He just won't admit he it. He won't ever admit it. Yeah. Like we were talking about Ego earlier. I think that came up. Yeah. So, could you pick a favorite between these two? I don't actually know how much the little four eight sixteen is. Oh, price wise, do a quick uh, quick Google. Yeah, I think for me, the way my palate is, I'm probably a little bit leaning towards Lagavulin. Uh, one forty to one fifty. It's about the same. Yeah. So well, I feel like you can get this at 120. Yeah, if you're hot. Yeah. It's a little more mellow. Oh, man, I don't know. I just See, I feel like I still I'm... enjoy the richness of the Lagavulin still. The Lafroy, if I'm getting – so if I want to go through an experience where, like, that peat thing happens, I think this is what i pick. Um, I still feel this is a better match for, like, something um, savory, steak, all that. Uh, just because the brightness of it does complement that better, I feel. This is just more of like peat bomb, peat bomb, Lafroig. Yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I think I think the Lagavulin is richer. I think the Lafroig is brighter to me. Mm. It's it's uh, it's almost more like this is what I would drink is while the sun is bright. While the sun is still out, mm. and then when the sun is down and maybe mm. it's cold and I'm Dinner sitting by time. the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Then I break I, up the Lagavulin. I can like, relate to that. They're both. Both very, very tasty. So, uh, all right. But this is a peat experience different than the Lafroig. So, uh, oh, yeah, you're right. You know. It's very, they're, they're different. They, they come across differently. Yeah. So, uh, Fibonacci says, Hey, fellas, happy Monday. Lagavulin would for sure be my favorite of those two. So rich. Yeah, I think we both just agreed that yeah. I, I, I probably have a slight preference for it over the. I, I, 
I think it would depend on the circumstances, though. Yeah, which is why I think I understand what you were saying. I would say if we're in a social setting at a, at a small bar, right? I would probably grab the Lafoy. or at the beach. This oh yeah, what <laughs> dude, you're not drinking either of these at the beach, dude. <laughs> Maybe, but this is at like you know beach party time. This is you know dinner. I'm ready for like a nice prime rib. Yeah, Dylan the Eagle Rare. Yeah, Dylan the does love his Eagle Rare. I like how he got really quiet. He's not, he's not chiming in because he, he doesn't want to lie on the internet. <laughs> oh, uh, he did reply. Oh, he did. He did reply. One of these days. Oh, yeah. I'll prepare so my preparing soliloquy, a soliloquy on the topic of Eagle Rare. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that. <laughs> I like how people still remember that. Seriously. <laughs> back I'm really there. impressed, guys. <laughs> it's It's awesome. I love it. I love it. Blind tastings tell the true story of a rare love affair. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> Ernie's got it. Jules is drinking lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> true. Pink yeah. lemonade. Get it right. Get not, it straight, Ernie. Not, not just, just regular beach. lemonade. And not just at the beach. And not just at the beach. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we tried a bunch of things tonight. Yeah, let's do a recap. Let's do a quick recap. So we had, oh, we didn't actually crack into the resilient. So right. maybe next time we'll on save that. for next. We have the uh, we had the old Pulteney. So here is our Scotch lineup for the night. And then uh, we and have of these of three. The, this is the best gateway next to yeah your Arbor recommend. And sure. I also think you know when you factor in price, right? I mean, maybe that's my favorite of the of the, of the group. I don't know. Yeah, thirty five. These bucks. are more complex. There's a lot more going on, but. Uh, Dude, in, 120 bucks though, man. Yeah. You say I mean versus 140, 150. But different context, I think. I True. Bring that up. So then we had the Kirkland small batch, obviously, which is sourced from 1792. And we also obviously drank 1792 compare. small batch to compare it. We all preferred this. We did, so even we, though we, we described different things. And then we also but, new challenger. Very old Barton, Ball and Bond, which apparently we learned doesn't exist anymore. So Right, unless you see the crescent B, we shouldn't have bothered, but we did anyway because it was on set and uh, and in a blind, definitely Dutch preferred this guy, preferred that right there, definitely preferred that guy. And we kicked things off with the old Kirkland, Tennessee, seven year, which Tennessee distilling was this the best of these? Did we did we kind of determine that really? No. I don't even think I have that glass anymore, so... I don't. No, man. You determined that right there. Yeah, but we didn't include this. No, that's true. We will now. Should I just take a swig out of the bottle? And Do it. No. It's too grainy. <laughs> so, so. Yeah, so. yeah, I still think I prefer the, uh, the, the very old Barton. Well, there you go. Which is uh, this one. Let's so see. don't bother, folks. Don't bother with a Kirkland. Well, I, 20 bucks, one okay. liter. You want to know what the theme of tonight is? It's context. All these are, it's contextual. It's like, what is the context in which you're drinking? If I'm sitting at home so by myself okay. at night, I am reaching for probably None one of, of these two. <laughs> the old Pulteney or the Lager one. Yeah. That's what I would say, okay? All if right. I'm at a social setting at a bar... I am probably well, you don't want to pay attention. No, no, where I want to talk to like still a couple people. Attention. I would probably grab the Lafroy 16. If I'm at a party and I and, and it's like it's hot out and I'm gonna pour something maybe over the rocks, mm. I'm probably reaching for the very old Barton. Fair. So I think there's there's merit to all these. If 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 no, you're going to Costco, you have not described any of the I'm scenarios to, for Kirkland. <laughs> if I'm prepping for a big party where people are gonna come make mixed drinks yeah. and pour stuff with Coke. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab it mm. for that context. So that strictly context. as a mixer, though. <sighs> mixer plus. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No. No? I don't think you would ever do that. Okay, why don't you give plus. us a summation? I, I don't have one. That's why I was fascinated with your storytelling there. Other than I would just say I'm grabbing this maybe if I only want to do one-stop shopping, pick up my clerk's wipes and toilet paper, and then grab that if I don't already have a 1792, <laughs> dude. Or... If I can find it online, very old Barton. <laughs> All right. I'm not able to find that in the store, so. Cool. All right, we got a bunch of comments that we missed here. Uh, oh, we got geez, a, yeah. a hey, hello from Korea. Hey. 
All right. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out with us. Totally. All right. Let us know. Is there Costco where you are? And does the Costco where you are have the Kirkland very, very small batch? The Kirkland small batch Barton, the new one. That would be really awesome to know. And thank you for joining. Thank That's you. Awesome. Um, James Morgan says, Dylan Weathers, will you jump on a live soon? We all miss you. And he definitely will. We got, like I said, I think in like two weeks, I think January, or sorry, January. July. Uh, Dylan only likes to pretend that he's this busy, that he's this important. Yeah. But uh, eventually we do pull him out of the cave. Uh, I think we got J July 16th. Pencil that in for a big live with everybody. Not confirmed yet, but yeah. <laughs> so don't hopefully. pencil it in. Oh, no, pencil it in. Don't write it in ink. That's Put a question saying. mark. <laughs> All right, Carlito says, uh, guys, we just got Balcones in my area. Picking up the 100 rye on the recommendation of whiskey truck. Whiskey truck? Who's that? Have you heard of that before? Mm -mm. Don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> after kind of giving up on rye for a while. Uh, I'm kidding. Of course, everyone knows the whiskey truck. Of course. Um, have I had the Balcones rye? I'm trying to think. Not me. I don't think so. I don't think I have. We've tried. We'll be looking for it there. Sorry, that's just how I think. <laughs> I, I kind of am getting Balcones confused with Redemption. I've had some of the Balcones. They do the blue corn one, right? The oh, is that them? Is that them? I don't know. You're asking me, dude. Not Obviously, me. I don't have anything to add to this guy. I'm sorry, Carlito. I wish I had something important to say. Uh, where's Dylan? He could give us a 20-minute discussion. <laughs> so Ernie, Ernie says, so you recommend bourbon that is no longer available? Yes. The one here that is no longer available <laughs> yeah. is this bad boy. Um, well, they do have well, the, do... the non-bonded version of right. it. Um, and you get the Crescent B. But I would is it say, still 100 proof? I think so. Is it still 100 proof? I don't we know. Don't know. Uh, if this is not available, I would go for the regular 1792. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we did choose that in a blind. Legit blind, guys. Yeah. That 1791. And, I, and, and obviously, I think, you know, if price is not a factor and we're looking at the same distillery, the full proof is obviously the one to go for. That, you know... 40, 50 bucks, 40 to 50 bucks, depending on where you get it. All right. Uh, Dylan says this, which is welcome. Welcome. <laughs> uh, and he'll definitely be on a live stream. Yep. yep. We got one coming soon. <laughs> LJ wants to know if you're going to finish your pours. I have, man. You finished one. Although, of them. I finished like two because then I just re poured from. One of them. Uh, Amy has the perfect description here. Well, Mixer plus equals. I drink it if I had to. Yeah, and that's kind of what I mean. Like if if I'm at a party and this is the only whiskey available, this Kirkland, am I gonna pour it and maybe put a little small piece of Will ice? Would you do in it neat or would you actually do it mixed? I'd do it neat. Mm. I, I'm not. I don't know. I, mean, I might have one mixed drink and then switch to drinking it neat. I just don't drink a lot of cocktails anymore. Mm. I can't deal with it. If I realize I, I don't drink a lot of cocktails <laughs> if I have to make it. I don't mind making cocktails for other people, but like I find yeah, you now, like a lot. It, it, I don't know, maybe it's just getting old. But like when I have sugar and I drink, mm. I feel horrible. Mm. If I don't have any sugar and I only drink straight whiskey, I feel great. So easy, easy decision for me. Yeah, I would. I mean, if I think that's what I was saying, like the context. Like if if this was the thing, the only whiskey at that party, sure, I'd have a few sips of it. And you wouldn't be turned off from having it neat. That's the thing. Jules, do a pour of pink lemonade. You got a request. Oh, I know, dude. I don't have any on set. That's so disappointing. Sam Hagler says, where's the butcher guy? The butcher guy hey. is over on the butcher block. Check it out. I did see him like a couple weeks ago. Oh, oh nice. No. He's doing well. Uh, are there any more blinds on the way? The next video that we'll be dropping tomorrow for members and on Wednesday for everybody else is going to be a very cool bourbon big one. blind. Big, uh, one. big one. Big one. Should we Huge. reveal what it is? Should we give a hint? Big. No, man. We'll, we'll make them wait. We'll say it's like some well-aged bourbons. And Huge. how many did we do? Did we do five? Was it five? Oh, was it only that many? For some reason, six? I thought it was more. Yeah, I thought it was like six or seven. I think it was five. Five okay, well-aged well bourbons in a big blind. Maybe not that big. And I will tell you that the... The results were surprising. It was very hard because they were high proof bourbons. Too. Very hard. And I think the moral of the story was that 
don't do more than three bourbons <laughs> if they're above under proof. 100 proof or 110, actually. I mean, we've done that. it before, but it's, man, it's so hard. It blows you out. Your palate gets blown out. It just becomes almost impossible. It doesn't matter what you do, too, man. I mean, yeah. we had water, charcuterie, yeah. whatever. Did not work. reset. Oranges. Oh, hey, look at that. Dylan already answered this, and I didn't even see it. What did he answer? But if you were here, I would have heard him say it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, hey, we got our answer from Korea. We have Costco in Korea, but only Kirkland Seven Year Bourbon, Kirkland mm. Tennessee Whiskey, which is this one right here. So there you go. That Still we were, available. Uh, starting with. So maybe it'll be hitting there soon. Um, hopefully, because I I don't know. Hopefully. Better price point. Is it better bourbon? Maybe close. Different. But thank you for letting us know. Appreciate that. Appreciate a few that. <laughs> Not an answer. Uh, have you tried the Isla single malt Isla Kirkland single malt. malt? What is the Kirkland we had? The 12 year single Scotch. malt? Was that single malt? I don't remember. don't remember. No, there's the blended. We've had the 12 year blended and we've had the, yeah, we've had the 22 and the 23, right? I remember the 22. I don't remember 23. Or was it 21 and 22? I think it's 22 and 23. 22 for sure. Both of those were really good. The Alexander Murray ones, really tasty. Great price point on them. Dude, Ernie Forney. Dude, thank you so much. Super Ernie, chat. looking forward to the next four score drink through. Thanks. Cheers, Ernie. Um, you saw, obviously, the Shibboleth review. <laughs> we have a bunch of Foursquare that we've accumulated since the last drink through. So, yeah, another drink through is in order. Shibboleth. At the same time, I feel like we got to do some other rum because <laughs> we keep just to give rum a fair chance. We do have a review of uh, Havana Club coming. Oh, the Havana Club seven years. I forgot we did that. The real Cuban Havana Club. Um, but not a drink through. No, just a, just just a, a review, review of that. Um, but yeah, we want to do some more. So thank you for the super chat, Ernie. Thank and you. Thank you again for being, I, I believe I got to check the records. I think I checked it at one point and you were the very first member of Curiosity Private that we what? ever had. So, Dude. Thank Cheers. you again for your support of the channel. It means a lot to us. All right. Uh, Carlito is still looking for authentic Japanese whiskey around here. Yeah. Um, interesting because there are new regulations around Japanese whiskey. What can be called what Japanese be, yeah. whiskey. I know this, it's going to be like rolled out over the next few years before things really get in place and, um, and the rules take effect. But uh, it'll be good to have those rules because obviously there's a lot of stuff that gets released and people think it's Japanese whiskey, but there's a lot of Scotch because whiskey. Because it's got a Japanese name. Yeah. There's a lot of Canadian whiskey that gets mixed into those. Right. Even Nika from the Barrel, it was revealed, has um, some Scotch whiskey mm. in the blend. So, um, yeah, the big, the big names, the Nikas and the Centauris tend to be your best bets, I think, still. Even though the Nika from the Barrel did have Scotch in it, but yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, Jose Garcia. Jose, Dude, salute. Salute. Thank you, my man. Thanks for Appreciate joining us on the Monday. Thank Thanks you for the super chat. chat. That is awesome. Uh, hopefully, you got your shirt too. Let me mm. know if you guys didn't receive them. Everybody who ordered or who ordered, everybody who won uh, a shirt in one of the past lives, you should have received it by now. If you haven't, please reach out over email and let me know. Um, and also, I think uh, in two weeks when we do our next live on that Friday that I mentioned, I think we'll do another shirt giveaway. So hang out then. Come hang out then. Come hang out then. Hang out then. <laughs> All right. So well the, well, the ones I found here are just source, but had a Japanese name. Yeah, Carlito, that's a big issue. And again, like I said, in the next few years might be changing. I know the Kayo, we reviewed Kayo. Um, did we do the Mizunaro? No, I think we did the regular Kayo. It was mm -hmm. one of our first reviews. And that one I know is barreled in Japan. And I think it's been confirmed that they are actually taking Japanese whiskey and then they're shipping it in barrels to England yeah. and then bottling yeah. it in England. But it is apparently actually Jap whiskey that has been distilled and aged in Japan. I, haven't been, I mean, that's what the distillery is saying. That's what the brand is saying. So I, I think it's true, but um, I, I actually found that stuff to be better than I expected. I mean, it's, mm. it's similar to the Yamazaki profile for me. When I've tried them side by side, they're quite similar. So I don't know if they're sourcing from there, but um, not a bad one. Um, what did, what's Dylan talking about? Oh, here's Keno says, uh, did you get the new Hibiki uh, Blossom uh, Harmony oh, or Yamazaki 2021 Mizunura? 
And Dylan says, ordered, but I hope they don't cancel. Yeah. Hoping to track those down. LJ in LA says, I brought a vial of Foursquare 2008 all the way to vacation in Maui, and it was magnificent. Yes. Great bottle. Great so is the 2007. Move, dude. Great um, move. That's yeah, a, 2007, too. That's a good. And you can still see that on shelves because I actually stumbled upon that. Yeah, your bottle's still ago. here. You got to have that. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somehow it came yeah. back from with me yeah. from Vegas. <laughs> Uh, news just joining. Hey, you guys are wrapping up. Yeah, we are kind of jo joining. We're kind of wrapping up as you're joining. Um, sipping on some scotch here, these two. Just like that. <laughs> this is the Lagavulin. This is the Lafroy. We did a lot of but stuff. Quick recap. Yeah, I mean, it was bottle open of the uh, Kirkland small batch sourced from 1792. We did a blind with 1792 small batch. And Dutch did a blind again with old, very, very old Barton. And very old Barton actually won out. Yep. So and seventeen ninety two, we both picked blind over the team over the Kirkland. Out. So, but thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, Kirkland seven year bourbon is kind of rising bourbon here. I really want to drink along with you guys, but it's twelve p.m. now. So, yeah, that'd be a, a drunk lunch. Lunch? Yeah. Twelve p.m. It's lunch somewhere. Lunch time. Hopefully, you're having a good lunch. I was dying after lunch. I think I mentioned that earlier, but just mention it again because this was a this was a slow, mo hard Monday. Actually, I shouldn't say slow; it's still busy, but hard Monday, folks. But thanks for joining us on uh, Monday night. It's so different for us. <laughs> Carly was gonna go. Yeah, someone needs to make a Dylan Rare logo shirt. Uh, Funny thing is, is Dylan's the one that does our shirts, <laughs> so we need to convince him to do that. <laughs> Uh, Amy, happy to help you guys out in the future with giveaways if you need help. Just let me know. Thank you, Amy. Hey, appreciate that. Because we, we are, actually might hit you up. We may that. hit you up for our next live because we're very bad at keeping track of stuff like that. Yes. Uh, luckily, we have like when we do the giveaways, we try to have at least two of us. So one right. person can kind of be focused on it. But keep track. Uh, yeah. If you're hanging out our next live, we may hit you up for that. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, a lot of questions about the Offerman. Um, so, yeah, there's the new Offerman oh, finished I mean. in Guinness casks. I don't think we have it unless Dylan has a bottle and he hasn't told us. Yeah. But um, we have the original. Yeah, we have the, the 11 year. Or, uh, yeah, 11 year. Um, which was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. But we don't have that yet. So, okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to be wrapping up here. Thank you guys. Um, Thank you for joining us. For joining. Yeah. Thank you to everybody that dropped a super chat tonight. I like this Monday start of the week, dude. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gave fun. me something to look forward to because, again, I was a, I was a sloth at work. <laughs> it was hard. That bad, huh? It was bad. <laughs> even even like looking forward to all this, you were like, oh no, that's what the only thing that kept me going. It's like I wanted to take an afternoon nap, even, but it was like, uh, I gotta work through all that. Then, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess thanks to the drink. Thanks for joining for the Monday. Um, seems like. A lot of people like to come out on a Monday. So maybe we'll Thank you guys. make this a more regular thing. Um, we'll just have to see. Most yeah. of the stuff with us is scheduling. It's just a pain to get. It's a pain to get any more than one person schedule. <laughs> you add two. Yeah. And it two. becomes like exponentially harder. For every person you add, it becomes exponentially harder. So especially uh, lately for me, because man, there's so many great sports uh, matches to watch and stuff. It's so hard. At 6 p.m. Yeah, man, NBA, Coast. dude. Come on, this so, non-NBA fan. I'm only watching soccer. Soccer's done. Yeah, and that's in the afternoon. So, you I'm know, or early morning. Okay, guys. But, hey, thanks again for joining. Uh, hey, Dylan, thank you for hanging out in yeah, chat. Yeah, thanks, Dylan. And being our moderator. Thanks uh, for not showing up. Yeah, thanks for not showing up and helping <laughs> us drink. Even though you're just, like, downstairs. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you, like, stomp on the floor. And... I bet you he's the one who killed our Wi-Fi. Yeah, probably. He's like, oh, let me like, mess with these guys. Ping. Win nuke. <laughs> yeah, win nuke. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks again, guys. Uh, thank uh, you. Appreciate all the super chats. Appreciate all of our members that showed up. Appreciate everybody that just showed up. Yeah, we Hit love the you. thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed. subscribed. Make sure you have the alerts turned on so that when we go live, you get an alert on your phone that tells you we're live. Because sometimes, you know, we post them to the community page, but sometimes that doesn't show up in your feed. But if you turn on those alerts, you should see us when we actually go live. So uh, thanks again, guys. Cheers to all you. We'll see you at least in uh, another two weeks two when weeks we say maybe, maybe we'll try to work one in between then. We'll see. But uh, keep an eye on that community page. And thank you guys so much.